I'm a snake. I'm a sneaky, sneaky snake. I'm a slithery, sneaky snake. I'm a snake. <laughs> Welcome back to Bad Movies, Worst People. I'm Derek. I'm Jack. It's just the two of us today. Yeah, which that's is all right. Weird. A little intimate. I wish we had a fireplace <laughs> going. You know what? Imagine a fireplace going, guys. Crackle, 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 crackle. crackle I could just crackle. hold my joints up to the fucking microphone and start <laughs> popping all you want. Just move my fingers around. <laughs> just move my fingers and my toes. God, he should see a fucking doctor, but not at this hospital. Well, I don't no. know. Maybe. I mean... <laughs> Treat Williams seems like a good doctor. Yeah. It's just this hospital is not equipped to handle um, armed assailants. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think many were. Many aren't. And this one had a fucking military there. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this week, this month, this month we're doing Trick or Treat Williams. God bless Which him. is supposed to be all Treat Williams horror movies. I googled Treat Williams horror movies. This one kept coming up. I wouldn't call this a horror movie. No. It, it doesn't. <laughs> it almost doesn't even want to be. No. You know, it's it's suspense at best. This is 2001 or two's Venomous. <laughs> I, I had a question about that because I found it both ways. I'm like, did they just remake it a year later? <laughs> we have better technology now. According to the director's IM, or, uh, Wikipedia page, it was 2002. Okay. According to IMDb, it was 2001. I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It because was probably shot in 2001, and then they had to find somewhere to release it. What's the difference between 2001 and 2002 anyway? Um, 9-11. Shit, that's a big difference. <laughs> I would imagine. There's two differences. <laughs> I would imagine this came out pre-9-11. Well, no, if it came out in 2002, it didn't. Yeah. If it well, came out they, in 2001, it probably did. They they waited to release it because they didn't want to you know, harm Americans any more than they'd already been hurt by 9-11. <laughs> oh, there's terrorists. So there's people are going to think the terrorists are going to release snakes. <laughs> They didn't want to give the terroristing ideas. <laughs> yes, this movie, Venomous, 2000-something, direct-to-video. Um, speaking of direct, did you see the director's body of work? Uh, I don't Which think... one? Well, there was one director, but he has many names. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> the, the one that I went to, the IMDb, he had more directorial roles than most people have acting roles. Yeah, I mean, 157, was, I think. I, I was going to say 167, yeah. so it's one of those. It's so fucking many. And almost none of them look theatrical. Um, no. <laughs> a lot of bikini in the title and yeah, the cover. Bikini, sexy, busty. Yeah. Uh, there were, when I filtered it on IMDb just to see, because I was like, I can't go through all these. No way. Who has the time? Uh, there were 45 that were listed as TV movies. Okay. Out of his 100 and some odd. So we're, we're down to close to 100. 15 of them have the word Christmas in the title. <laughs> so Hallmark style. <laughs> those were all like, not. those were all mostly under TV movies, not direct to video like this one. Yeah. But it looked like a lot of either Hallmark or Lifetime. Like, I think he's doing both because he had like the Hallmark oh, know, this Christmas for Prince anybody. 12 or whatever. And then you also have like the ones that are like, my lover killed my daughter or whatever <laughs> like all oh, the, the lifetime you yeah. know i don't know that i made that one up it's terrible i'd but watch it's probably it been made i'd watch it <laughs> if it's not directed by this guy i'll watch it <laughs> <laughs> his name his real name or is it fred olin ray that sounds just like just weird enough to not be made up <laughs> he was listed in this movie though in the opening credits as ed raymond Nope. So, like, I saw Fred Olin Ray on IMDb when I was taking some notes beforehand, and then I was watching the movie, and I was like, Ed Ray, am I watching Threw off the your wrong own fucking movie? notes. Yeah, like, am I watching the wrong Venomous? Because I hadn't seen Tree Williams yet, you know, yeah. and there's multiple Venomouses. There's, um, there's Venom Eye a plenty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that on Tubi alone, there was like five things called Venomous, mm -hmm. but <laughs> two of them were this movie. By the way, this movie is only available on Tubi. Yeah, or despite YouTube. what the internet will tell you, because it says that you can go to Prime and yeah. watch it. I could not throw money at this problem, and that's something I do. <laughs> oh, get, would a five dollar bill fix that? It probably. I'll shove a five dollar bill right down your throat right now. <laughs> if it you, stop you from coughing. I just learned how to drink. Sorry, <laughs> first time without a not very cup. well. <laughs> um, yeah, I swear to God, when I were planning this and I was looking for movies, it all came up because I was on 
just clicking through Prime, like, ooh, that movie, ooh, yeah. that movie, you know, clicking through the You May Like. I ended up on a movie called Bats, starring Lou oh. Diamond Phillips. Oh, give me some of Lou Diamond. And at the, under that, you may also like, and it says Venomous, and it's a pic, the picture from like the cover of like the coiled up snake, the snake, and then just a picture of Treat Williams standing there being Treat Williams. And I was mm-hmm. like, uh, okay. And it was available. Yeah. But that was like a month ago. Let me get to the crux of this movie for me. Yeah. Two things really didn't do it for me. One, it had commercials. <laughs> a movie like this suffers from that. Also, I mean, it was made for TV, so you got the real full experience, though. Yeah, I know. I definitely <laughs> got up and made a beverage here and there. But the second one is, there's not enough Treat Williams for me. And I got no. a feeling I'm going to say that about every movie that, that we watch of his. Not all of them. Because he, but he, it might not be enough for me. <laughs> I'm just saying, this one, man, he is, he is Treat Williams, elephant in the room, I guess we'll call it. Yeah. Passed away not too long ago, motorcycle accident, 70 years old, something Which, like I'm that. Not, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest with you... That's how if I'm dying go. at 71. I'm thinking, okay, old age, cancer, yeah. or something. Motorcycle accident? Fuck yeah, dude. You're That's a bad pretty awesome. Treat Williams was a bad <laughs> motherfucker. I just regret that I didn't get to know him till Phantom. Like, yeah. just recently was this dude in my life, and then just as recently taken away. I, I'm, I, I wanted him in this movie the whole time. Is it our fault? It might be. Has anybody else we talked about died since we started? Um, I did predict Harrison Ford dying. Don't do that. Uh, no, I did. He's, he's got three years <laughs> left on this earth, man. Sorry. Anyway, more Treat Williams in this and every movie would be great. I'm pretty he's sure a, he's a snack. the most we're going to see of him will be when we do Substitute, probably three. All right. I think it's the one I've decided to do. Yeah. And or uh, Dead Heat. Because Dead Heat is him and Joe Piscopo. And I, th- I don't remember which one's <laughs> the zombie cop. But one uh, of them's a zombie cop. I in think it's real Joe life, Piscopo. it's Piscopo. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that guy's a zombie actor. Now it would be Treat Williams. Oh, we are the worst people. <laughs> um, can I tell you something that started in this movie that I I thought we're doomed? It's one of those stupid fake movie intros, but the graphics were awful. And oh. I was like, oh my god, we are. I thought it was flashing back to like ancient Sumerian times yes. and give us the history of snakes. Yeah, this like Pharaoh pictures or whoever it was yeah. that produced this thing. Yeah, because when it first started, I wasn't really paying attention because I figured that's what was going to come up. Uh huh. And I saw that really bad CG and I was like, oh, I hope not. And I was like doing something else. And I turned around and they're just in the car. And I was like, wait, like I missed the opening <laughs> Did I miss credits. A flashback? I was like, so wait, was that. Was that part of the movie? So I had to rewind to watch it again to make sure that it wasn't part of the movie. And thank God it wasn't. Friends of mine will know that I hate the fake movie intro because it's always like, oh, it's an old guy working on a field right there. What's he do? Oh, it's old man working in a field productions. Yeah. <laughs> that's dumb. And so for this one, I was like, we're fucked. If that's the graphics that we're at, we are fucked. <laughs> the company who is paying to produce this movie can't even pay to produce their own opening graphics. I mean, this isn't a one-time thing. This is your logo. This <laughs> yeah. is what you're doing on every movie. Stop it. I guess they figured by that time you've already bought the videotape. Gotcha. Because <laughs> this is early enough that you were still buying videotapes, right? But not no one. I mean, not not this one. This, this is <laughs> couldn't find it. So yeah, this movie titled Venomous has a snake on the cover. So I figured Treat Williams in a big snake movie, a la Anaconda. Sure. Something like that. I wanted arachnophobia with snakes. That's what I thought we were getting. Yeah. Um, snakes coming out of shower heads, you know, I mean, and kind of, kind of, <laughs> but. It's actually a secret outbreak movie. Ta-da! Where's Dustin Hoffman? Where's the Where's the monkeys? Not the band. Hey, I, hey, <laughs> we're the rattlesnakes. Hey, hey, we're the virus. <laughs> so the yeah, movie secret starts. Movie. Yeah, the movie starts with uh, this very nervous-looking scientist taking two other not nervous-looking scientists to his ha- secret base. As an MP on this base, how do you not flag this dude right away? Like, dude, you are sweating bullets, you are trembling, and you are not all there. Yeah. And when he does get them in, and then he's walking through, every person who walks by, he's like, hey, buddy, hey, pal, hey, good good to see you, ha, ha, ha. Why don't you do a do to do whistle? Like, give me the that. Nothing to see here. The guards are walking by, like, well, he can't be up to no good. You hear that whistle? Yeah. That's Anybody who whistles fuck. like that is very casual. <laughs> I was going to check him out, but then he started whistling. All right, let him go. So supposedly these are journalists that he's sneaking in that are have because he has they're doing some kind of warfare research that he says violates the Geneva Convention or something. My favorite thing though, he takes them to the the reptile room and he's like, they're doing research on reptiles. Snakes. Snakes. <laughs> I have that. I left my notes at home, but there is just one word with about six S's in the beginning <laughs> that says snakes. 
but it turns out they're actually super secret spies? Question mark. Question mark indeed. Or terrorists. Also, did you know this is a flashback? Yeah. Did they ever say the time frame? They, like he mentions the one of the generals mentions it, but I'm was assuming, there like an on screen like ten years later? No. Okay. I'm assuming we're in 01, but one of the generals does say we were doing these experiments, but then ten years ago it was like blowed up. Yeah. Hey, words are he much does, better than that. Uh, but. The evil general, he does mention that it was they were trying to make weaponized rattlesnakes to release on Saddam's troops in Desert Storm. Good God. <laughs> Like, I'm like, that's not how this works. This is this is They're- Cobra Commander's plan. <laughs> is- <laughs> I mean, this guy could be Cobra Dragon Commander. Snakes on them. <laughs> this guy is the most evil general. General yeah. Sparks, I think, maybe was his name. General Snakes? <laughs> maybe. Because <laughs> he's like, like, throughout the movie, he's just like, oh, oh, nope, kill him. By Bert, the way, kill him. I can't wait to get to that dude's death. This is like my <laughs> Dude, favorite thing in the fucking movie. That's there towards the end of this movie. There's a lot of cool shit. I was about mentally checked out, and then things started happening. <laughs> the budget got spent. Yeah, <laughs> I do love though these spies like take this doctor down to the basement, and they open a briefcase full of C4, and they're like, "Okay, set it." And he's like, "What do you mean set it? Like, are you gonna blow it up?" This guy's the dumbest dumb ever. Also, these things say C4 explosive on top of them. <laughs> what do you think they're doing with that? <laughs> they're not Legos. Uh, there, I did f- find it funny accidentally though. He knocks out the he like the janitor's there. He's like, "What are you doing here?" And he knocks the guy out with a wrench. And then maybe three seconds later, when the good doctor is trying to help him up, the lady shoots him. Yeah. Like, all right, so you have guns and you are willing to kill people. Shoot them right away. Yeah, you're blowing up this whole building. Because, just... because Endgame is blowing it up. So knocking him out, you're not like, well, I'm not going to kill him. Yes, you are. So this I'm just curious what their thing is here. Like, So obviously this is military research, and they're making monster weapon snakes. <laughs> Who are these people, and why are they trying to blow up the building? Um, they're Saddam Hussein's people. No, I don't understand, because they're they're definitely not journalists, because yeah. they're, they're quite handy with firearms. And yeah, we don't know who they're working for. Weird that this doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's almost as if it was some kind of directed video. Very strange. <laughs> directed by Fred Olin Ray. So 10 years later, yes. after the, the whole building blows up. Oh, also one of my least favorite things in action movies. Open air gunfights where there's nobody with cover and almost nobody's dying. Yeah. Like, because these two se- secret super journalists. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking like Walter Cronkite <laughs> went into the super soldier program. <laughs> Breaking news, her. That was a little Richard Nixon. But yeah, anyway, close enough. The, you got the, the guy's got two guns. She's got one gun up against four to five military personnel, personnel, and they all just start opening fire, and no one goes down. Yeah. Come on. Well, since they're secret super spies, maybe they had some like James Bond gear that was like a, a, a deflector shield. Oh, a little plot armor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it has an expiration. <laughs> you have five minutes of plot armor, then this building blows up and kills you all. That's 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 how Q should have just started all those movies, right? Uh-huh. He's like, so here's some plot armor, here's a plot pen. <laughs> what do you uh, call this? I call it plot armor, James. So your car shoots oil out of the front now. Okay. Uh, why would I need that? Plot. Plot. Also, it does anything else you can think of you might need. Conveniently, all the things I installed this time, you're probably going to need in the next yeah. two to three days. That bra remover in the glove box, you're going to need that. Well, that, that's in all of his cars. Absolutely. That's actually, it's just called his glove. It's in Sean Connery's It's a driving car. glove. <laughs> he uses that. Would you mind taking your boobs out? Because if you don't, I will. <laughs> hey, speaking of Sean Connery, one of these guys is in The Rock. Is it the big dude that's The big like, mysterious guy. Big that, mysterious guy. I thought he was coming to something, and, yeah. it, and it was nothing. He's just always in the background looking big and mysterious. I he's know got a this black actor eye. from two... Yeah, he's a black guy. He got beat up. <laughs> so I know him from two things. One is The Office. Oh, okay. When Michael Scott writes the movie Threat Level Midnight, he's the guy that comes into the office to try and kill Michael Scarn. Okay. I also, two nights ago, saw him in an episode of Renegade. <laughs> That's how I know this cat. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps giving. He plays a private in The Rock, and okay. he also plays, he's one of the guys in Armageddon, but not like the main crew. Oh, I know him from Armageddon. Yeah, yeah he's a shuttle crew. Yeah. He's not the drilling crew. He's the straight lace, not the fun. Yeah, he's one of those guys. And it's like, like the whole movie, I'm sitting here, I'm like, how do I fucking know this yeah. guy? Yeah. I mean, he's very. Also, we, he's giant. Yeah, you know this guy. He's a <laughs> salt and pepper giant. Yeah, so 10 years later. Before we even get to Mysterious Black Eye Man. 
we get to this farm and there's some farmer Bob. Oh, it's a uh, highway repair. Oh, that's what it, it is. It has this a is sign the middle of nowhere. It. I think farm. It has yeah. Well, it has a sign Overalls. above it that you see later. Yeah, but he's he's a mechanic on the side of the road, and he's got a super awesome golden retriever named Gertrude. Good as boy or girl. Poor Gertrude goes running around in the desert, finds a rattlesnake that's rattling, and sniffs it. Gotta tell you. Most dogs, at least in the desert we live in, most dogs ain't fucking with that. Yeah, that's the whole point of the rattle, isn't it? Uh-huh. Like, hey, that's pretty scary. I should leave. Yeah. So, yeah, the the snake get, or the snake gets bit. God. Well, there's probably a <laughs> snake that gets bit. I mean, this, the snake bites the dog. The dog licks the owner. The owner leaves to go to town and starts swerving. And this is the funniest swerving. Like, it's not like a guy's, like, kind of passing out and, like, swerving a little bit. Yeah. This dude, and it, it's not like you see from the distance the stunt driver's jerking the wheel, and then when they go into the cab, he's not. This dude is driving the car, just jerking this wheel uh-huh. left and right. And I'm you like, know what it is? It, when we watch uh, bad acting, when they move the wheel too yeah. much, this is what happens. <laughs> this is what you're seeing from the outside of the car, is someone just a little too much slopping that wheel. Yeah. And the sheriff pulls, goes to pull him over. And he's a little early to hit that booze. Yeah. He's seizuring Never. out and gets taken to the car or to fuck. I am Ooh, not just not good, doing it. It's today. a good day for a podcast, sir. Yeah. <laughs> uh, gets taken to the hospital. Uh-huh. You yeah. don't get taken to cars when you're seizuring. You get taken to the well, sometimes, but Put that's him in to the go car. to the hospital. <laughs> I think they got him to the hospital. So then we're introduced to Dr. David Henning, Ow. who is Treat Williams, who after watching a handful of movies to prepare for this to try to find stuff. Like, he's not never as good as he was in The Phantom because he always plays a good guy. Yeah. I like him as a bad guy. I like him with Ham. Yeah. Because in The Phantom, he was able to go over the top. He's evil. He's cackling. He's got a mustache. He's, he's got gravitas. Like, he's, yeah. he walks in a room and you know he's there. Although his, like, kind of understated performance, which is kind of what he does in everything, like, this character is almost no different from his character in The Substitute yep. other than the murder. <laughs> the yo-yo there's no yo-yo in this movie <laughs> uh but he's always got this like just fucking charming screen presence i wish he was my stepdad and that's kind of what we see right away is his charmingness so he's talking to this nurse and she goes to walk away and like oh, she's getting married Vanessa williams yeah and this sleazy doctor who's just played by some guy mm-hmm all these people, by the way, most of these people are just played by some guy. I mean, even the people I can pick out roles can't give you a name. Like, this is an ensemble cast featuring Treat Williams, but none of the ensemble has names. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm sure they do. They all went on to do Lifetime movies or <laughs> such. They're, they're on Crackle right now. <laughs> but he's the she's walking away, and the the other doctor, the sleazy doctor, uh, Foreman, I think was his name. He's like, oh yeah, the guy that's marrying her is real lucky. Lucky. And then guy. Treat Williams looks and he goes, yeah. Because he's like, yeah, she's a nice woman. Yeah. Like, you're just like, ah, treat, you're yeah, such a classic. You're act. saying about her ass. I'm <laughs> yeah. talking about her personality. Exactly. Pal. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, they've realized that this car mechanic, I was going to say farmer, I don't know. <laughs> what, he's what a farm he mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> this old man is sick Bob. and it could be contagious, but they're all just standing around without masks or gloves mm-hmm. or any kind of. It's a pre COVID world, dude. Yeah, but they're we'll doctors. Get to, we'll get to some more. Points of contention for that. <laughs> uh, yeah. When people are taking off their masks like they live in Arizona for the rest of this movie. <laughs> it's a little chin diaper right here. <laughs> he calls his ex-wife, Christine Edmonton. She works for the DOD. Oh, and I kind of wish Whitney was here for this because she is from JAG. <laughs> she was in JAG. That's like her big thing. And I went yeah. and looked. I was like, oh, she must have been a main character. She was in three episodes. Oh, I didn't check yeah. that deep. I was just like, because I. But she was also in a bunch of episodes. She would probably know because she was in like some supernatural. She's and in a, a, a other perennial shit, so. TV yeah. personality, I guess you would call uh, it. The, the biggest thing, the longest thing I saw was like 30 episodes of some. I think it was like a soap opera or something. I can't remember now. Something we wouldn't watch. Yeah, something I've never seen or probably even heard of. <laughs> and don't want to. And she's he's basically asking her to check on these blood samples because he doesn't know what the fuck's up with this guy. She even goes right away. She's like, what, you want sexual favors? And he's like, I do have more interest than that. But also, yes. But also, yeah. <laughs> and you know what, chick? Why are you holding out on treat? Well, she brings it up. And then when he's like, you should come and visit and da-da-da because clearly they're broken up. Then she's like, you can't talk to me like this. We can't be doing this. Like, you, you started it. Yeah. You can't be like, want to fuck? And then when he's like, well, I just yeah. want to go to dinner. He'd be like, I, I can't. 
<laughs> I can't. That's disgusting. <laughs> uh, There's this other kid, Billy, who ends up getting bit by a snake too, and it's sad because he's got a wife and a kid, and he's like a burger cook, and oh. like they're showing you all this stuff, right? His wife sending, or his mom sent him a check. Yeah. Like, because they need cool. help living on this dope ass <laughs> little fucking cottage. Yeah. The, Fuck the, you. I wish I was struggling like that. You need that. help here. The place is dirt cheap. Yeah. Oh, it's just mostly it's on dirt. dirt. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, the baby played by Max Olin Ray. So presumably Fred okay. Olin Ray's son. Saw it in the credits. Or it's another pseudonym of his and he's from the future or past. <laughs> he time traveled and brought himself to the future. What does this guy have to do with Time Cop, by the way, <laughs> if anything? I didn't go through all of his movies, but I guarantee there's something with the word time in it. He probably did Time Cop the TV show. <laughs> That's like part of his thing. He did do something about ants. Do they time travel? Ants, like the I, Woody <laughs> Allen one? <laughs> no. Some ant horror movie. So, I don't know. Yeah, the one with Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> uh, no, that was Bug's Life. No, wait. No. <laughs> no. no. It was not. That was Dave Foley, and you know it. They're the same thing. Maybe you don't. <laughs> I don't. They came out at the same time, and I was like, well, I'm not watching two bug movies. Yeah. I just stopped watching cartoons. <laughs> I'm not going to watch I'm not gonna watch one bug movie. <laughs> I just gave up on animated features at that point. And bugs. <laughs> So yeah, she's the nurse brings this kid in the glass and he drops it and then she cuts her hand on it and then she gets infected and it's kind of just the setup for And he wants to leave right away though. Yeah. I mean, it's cuz it treat Williams he says to Billy says to Doc Treat uh, he's like starts getting up and he's like what I thought you said no one ever dies from rattlesnake bites anymore. And he's like that's not exactly what I said. <laughs> I just don't understand the idea of being that tough of a person. Like, oh, I got bit by a rattlesnake. I'm going to work. My ass ain't going to work, dude. I think it's more of a like still continuing the like we're financially in trouble. You have thing. to like I have to be at work. Well, that's the American healthcare system put on blast. Yeah, he's like, look, you gave me the anti venom. That's already sixty thousand dollars. I don't want to <laughs> stay in this hotel room that cost me three thousand dollars an hour. I probably got to ride an ambulance. There's like three grand. <laughs> yeah, although Treat Williams seems like he's the kind of doctor that would be like, I'll give you a discount. Yeah, it's only fifty. Oh, that's 000. why he's practicing. This this guy is a smart doctor slash scientist and he decides to work in a small you town you didn't know that all doctors can uh, synthesize anti-venoms and virus treatments i was unaware all doctors can wrangle snakes <laughs> like i mean doctor snake well, you look at the town he's living in valid he's probably point. wrangled snakes valid in the past. point <laughs> i mean but he, yeah he watched a, he watched rambo th- <laughs> three four no two. it's four so it hasn't come out yet wasn't four the one where he's doing snake wrangling Oh, it is, but number two, he goes to the jungle and grabs the snake oh, that's right. and chokes it out. Maybe he just watched Hard Target. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's just <laughs> punching snakes to sleep. You want to wrangle a snake? Got him. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I don't. we can't have like a Treat Williams like voice. Yeah, he's, he's like, just got a really I'm nice, white. pleasant... Yeah, well, <laughs> I got the anti-venom. Like, that's the other thing, is he's never like excited or like at anything. He's always very calm, mm-hmm. at least in the things I've watched. Back to beat Phantom, he gets more manic, exactly. and that's why we love it. But like, even when he's like calm, it's like I, f- I feel the emotion coming off of him. Yeah, me. he's just like, boy, there sure is a lot of people getting infected by this virus, and you're like, God, I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why I did David Duchovny there, because <laughs> <laughs> why not? <laughs> so Scully, this town is infested with snakes. <laughs> I want to believe. There's motherfucking snakes in this motherfucking town. <laughs> snakes in this town. <laughs> Speaking of that, after the movie ended on the to be uh, recommended or what you might like coming up uh-huh. because I watched Venomous, there was a movie called Ants on a Plane. Oh, no. Like, that sounds worse than snakes. Yeah, because they get up in the wiring. <laughs> They're everywhere. They're everywhere. I'm just you want ants? There. That's how you get ants. <laughs> just sitting there trying to enjoy my bag of peanuts. or No, they don't give you peanuts anymore. My bag of dry pretzels. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, why does my ass crack itch? Scratch, handful of ants. You want to find out, like, you want me to find out real quick how shitty your service is? Give me some pretzels and no drinks. Well, the last time I flew, there was no drink service or anything because it was like, you're only going to be in the air for an hour and a half. I was like, I'm thirsty. I get really thirsty in an what hour. What am and I half. supposed to drink with this shooter that I brought in my bag? <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm just chugging rum on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'm a sky pirate now. <laughs> Like Catherine Zeta Jones, speaking oh, of Treat man. Williams. We're, we we got to watch Phantom tonight, guys. <laughs> so Billy does leave against medical advice, and he goes to work and coughs all over all these people's burgers. Dude, I don't care if you think you're dying from a snake bite or just have a nasty cough. Don't come to work like this, almost no matter what, especially if you work in the food industry. Yeah. 
like the smartest guy is the dark mysterious guy because he he gets a menu and he's he's eyeballing shifty little eyeball the cook who's just <laughs> all over these directly cheeseburgers. down onto the grill. You aren't even trying to cover your mouth, dude. You are <laughs> aiming like you know what? I bet I can cough on all four of these burgers in one breath. So then he kills this lady and presumably her children. Uh huh. Because there's a lady in there ordering to go burgers. Have we talked about the earthquakes yet? It's a it, it did it it didn't happen yet, did it? No, it's 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 they talk about it here how it's been happening. Oh, okay, so I guess I missed that. Apparently, these really dangerous snakes are coming out of their den because of an earthquake. Yeah, so earthquakes. Shortly here, when we'd see like the den full of snakes and there's that the earthquake they show. Yeah, I had missed that line, so I'm sitting here going, "Snakes causing an earthquake?" Yeah, question mark. The earthquakes. Like <laughs> no one talks about how it's like a thing that happens in this county. Or if it's a new phenomenon, it's just earthquakes making snakes come out to play. I mean, it's presumably California. I don't think they ever say, uh, but they, it's they called say, Santa Mira Valley yeah, or something. I caught so that. That sounds California. Sure. Sure does. <laughs> Everything in California is named after Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that why they call it that, God, right? they love Christmas in California. <laughs> Uh, is that why everything in Florida is named after Krampus? Um, <laughs> is it? <laughs> I, I got to go to Florida. <laughs> so, yeah, the burger lady ends up coming to the hospital later. But the shifty guy does come in, and then he just bounces. He's yeah, like, he's no, thank you. He's talking to one of the doctors. I think he's like a sneaky, I don't know, fed or well, something. Yeah, he's this big, ripped, military-looking dude. With a black eye. With a black eye who goes to the, the burger joint, suspiciously glares at Billy and leaves. You see him at the hospital talking to the sleazy doctor, uh-huh. and then he leaves. Ooh, Dr. Sleaze. <laughs> and then you see him at the end of the movie just standing on the side of the road with his kid watching the, the military go by. You're like, what black ops corporation does this guy work for? Or or just tell me he's a retired uh, CIA operative. He's a retired special forces. He's not even a character. I, like, I was trying to figure out who it was by going through IMDb because I was like, I know this guy. First of all, his IMDb picture is off center, so you can only see like the <laughs> left half that. of his face. <laughs> and then, but they never say the character's name, I don't think. So yeah. I was trying to figure out who the fuck it was, and then finally I was able to figure it out. But yeah, like, I don't think I can give you a name. I mean, the character's name was Gordon, according to IMDb. According to nobody. According to nobody in this movie, maybe. Maybe the diner owner says it when he first sees him because he's like, "Oh, hey, good to see you." Maybe, maybe. he says it. But I, I don't mean, know. it's a passing fucking name. Surprise, there are probably things cut out of this movie. Yep. It needed to fit into a time slot. <laughs> uh, what was it? Hour? It was like 137. It's about seven minutes too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about 27 minutes too long. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we get the burger lady comes to the hospital. You have like a zombie nurse who nobody seems to notice. Yeah. That, that nurse is so sick. She's like pale. She's practically painted blue like the zombies in Dawn of the Dead. You work in healthcare. <laughs> you should know like, hey, there, hey, doc, raise your hand. There's something wrong with me. So you know how we had that patient that I was in the room when you said he could have a contagious virus? Um, well, now I'm sick. So maybe I shouldn't be still helping patients. I mean, I know it's pre-COVID, but it's not pre-science. <laughs> We've had outbreaks before, guys. Yeah, this is way after 1911 or whatever Spanish that one flu. was. 1917, yeah. something like that. I don't know. I'm not a history person. We're, we've we've already done the uh, what the bird flu, the mad cow disease. Like, yeah. come on, man. AIDS. AIDS. That was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> the everyone, black plague. Everyone stayed away from AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> We're very familiar with diseases. But yeah, so she passes out too. So then we meet. General Mancheck, which is a crazy name. It's I don't a great know why. name for Machismo General. Although though. this guy, well, not this guy, but this character, the, the name General Mancheck was used in another outbreak movie, The Andromeda Strain. Oh, I don't know it. Uh, it's a much older movie. It's pretty awesome. But General Mancheck is in that also. So I'm assuming this was Little. like some writer was like, I'm so smart. I'm so clever. Everyone's going to get that. <laughs> <laughs> Derek and ten people got it. There are two references to Andromeda Strain in this movie. Actually, three, I think. It's General Mancheck. I'm pretty sure that the Satan bug, which is what they call this virus, uh-huh. eventually in the last three minutes, is the name of the virus. I believe. Yeah. In, oh, you talking about the, the in Andromeda Strain? I believe. Okay. I, I could be wrong on that one. You talking about the tent of exposition? Where they were just like, <laughs> yeah. here's everything you didn't know about this movie. And then also Directive 712, which comes up, is also from Andromeda Strain. Oh, okay. Although it involves so somebody, nuking the place. Somebody loved Andromeda yeah. Strain and was like, I'm just going to slip this. Oh, we're writing an outbreak movie? Let me watch the best ones. They watch Andromeda <laughs> Strain. They're like, that's fine. 
I got it. Like if I was trying to write a sci-fi movie, I'm like, I'm just going to watch Star Wars while I get some inspiration. <laughs> All right, this character is named D4 uh, Z Doe. Uh, so I got this new script. Uh, what's the movie called? Star Travel Wars. <laughs> Star Battles. No, Light Battle. Uh, what was the one in Midnight Madness? Star Blaster? No, Star Blaster? Star, Star Fighter? I no. don't know. But it wasn't Star Wars, just barely. <laughs> it wasn't Star Wars in every way except for the name it was. Uh, so my, my main character is going to be a guy named Foot Together. <laughs> I'm trying to say Han Solo. That's not what I said. <laughs> That's the original idea. Foot Friend. Okay, foot Friend. <laughs> the, my character's name is Greg... Star killer. <laughs> uh, he's being chased down by a guy named uh, Baba the House. All <laughs> <sighs> oh, right. <laughs> Man check. Yes. Do you have a gun? Man check. <laughs> Do you have a beard? Man check. You know who this guy reminded me of? Have you ever seen the movie Dr. Strange Love or How I Learned to Stop Wearing and Love the Bum? No. Nope. Stanley Kubrick movie, fucking excellent. Yeah, it's it has Pickens. Peter Sellers, Slim Pickens. Yeah. It's, I'm aware it's, of it. It's a cultural thing. I've just never seen it. It's one of my top five movies of all time. I'll have to check it out then. Uh, it's, it's great. It's a dark comedy stuff. But this guy reminds me of the general from that. Okay. Whose name escapes me at the moment, even though it's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's been a while. Um, Man, Jack. That guy is kind of like this guy, actually, because he's obsessed with... He's obsessed with communists and stuff. And he's like, "You ever seen a commie drink water?" And like talking about how they like they're they're fluoridating the water to control us and uh -huh. all this stuff. One of those guys. Like he today he would be on Twitter. He'd be or he'd, full Q. Sorry, he'd be on what's it called? Uh, X. No, the the one that Donald Trump started after he got kicked off Twitter. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something with a P. No one cares. Patriot probably. Pa oh um, yeah. <laughs> but this guy reminded me of him a lot. But uh, he's also this is one of the only actors I recognized immediately. Oh, okay. This from guy, what? I had to look up his name. It was Jeff Pearson, but he plays the like assistant chief of police in Dexter. The, especially, oh, yes, yes, yes. That's... Like the, I've only seen the first two or three seasons, but uh -huh. he's he's Dexter's boss's boss. Yes, he's above the girl who's been in one of our show uh, on an episode before. Yes, yeah. Um, I'm blanking on what she I can't was think in, of her but, name, yeah, but yeah, she was in. She was in, and this is her boss. Yeah. Um, I also know him from uh, Twenty Four. Okay. He had a chunk in those early that makes seasons a lot of, sense. of 24. Yeah. Based on the cop thing and then this thing. And looking like, up his, his roles, it's like, all right, you're very military military or at least investigator. <laughs> yeah. Like I, said, I didn't have to look up. I didn't look at his roles because I knew immediately who it was. Uh, but I didn't know his name. I also found on his IMDb, he did a bunch of voices for one of my favorite video games, Knights of the Old Republic. Oh. He did a bunch of voices. Yeah. So, yeah. He's got a great voice for it. <laughs> yeah. Very, I'm sure it was mostly imperial. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just, he's got that military he voice. A little, so. He seems a little imperial. <laughs> but we're introduced to him, basically just to introduce the character. He's talking to uh, Christine, whatever the fuck her name is, his the the white the ex wife. Yeah, and Dr. she's Hot. she's telling him. Did you say Doctor Hot? I did say Doctor okay, Hot. <laughs> I thought you said Doctor Cox at first. And I was like, that's not that's not right. Hey, Doctor Cox is hot. <laughs> Hot cocks. Hot um, cocks. We can't say that. <laughs> I can say whatever I want. This is the internet. <laughs> Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Ask 4chan. You can say anything you want on the internet. Freedom of speech, motherfucker. <laughs> but basically, she's telling him about the virus, and he's like, yeah, research that. Yeah. When then, like, just jump around a little bit. Basically, the next thing he talks to this other general, Sparks, I think, whatever, <laughs> General Snakes. General Snakes. Who <laughs> is... The evil one, you can tell immediately. Uh -huh. And he's just like, no, she can't research anything. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just yeah. call him Cobra Commander one from of, now on. <laughs> one of his first like things is like, let's just destroy the town. Yeah. Like, before, let's not research the sickness. Let's kill everybody. Yeah, and they don't say what it is at first, but he immediately goes, Directive 712. Yeah. Like, okay, Order maybe we should 66. see what's going on first. <laughs> Directive 712. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> Next time, Gadget. Next time. I think it's because he just automatically knows. He's like, eh, that's like the area where that base was. It's probably the snakes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like Immediately, he's just like, kill him. Um, oh, strangely enough. All right. So, Cobra Commander. <laughs> do you know who did that voice? Like, I don't know no. the actor's name, but he is in Roadhouse. 
as the guy that tries to pimp out his wife in the beginning, where there's the guy is like, he's like, 10 bucks to touch your boobs, and he's touched like, I ain't got 10 bucks. Yeah. That's Cobra Commander. <laughs> Dude, that giant, that is bald, awesome. like redneck looking dude is Cobra <laughs> Commander. Where do you have to get to be that voice when you are that guy? Right. Like, I want to know, or do I, about your nights alone where you're like, just, it's just experimenting, like, yeah. He's like, I'm tired of playing fat, drunk redneck in movies. Yeah. I'm going to be a voice actor. So he just sits there and makes noises to himself, looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> That's how they got the hood on the face. He's like, I can't look at myself making these noises. I gotta put a hood on. <gasps> There's something here. Something. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's great. Next time I watch Roadhouse soon, yeah. I'm gonna think about that. Next time I watch Roadhouse soon, is what you said. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I watched it a few weeks ago because like Whitney either hadn't seen it or hadn't seen it in ages. So and I picked it up from Vinegar Syndrome. Uh-huh. It's insane. So we were watching it, and then like the next day. Of the mutual friend of ours and his girlfriend came over. Yeah. And I was like, you guys want to watch Roadhouse? Roadhouse. <laughs> yes. And if, you know what? I'll be honest, man. If you tell me that you don't want to watch Roadhouse with me, you have maybe two excuses before I'm not your friend. Like, that's <laughs> that's that's friendship divorce material. Uh, throat rips make me violently ill. You, you can close your eyes. <laughs> like, you got to be pregnant or diarrhea I don't. It, it sucked because we were ha- trying to hang out and drink, and I was like, it's a good background movie. Yeah. And then she got way into it, and we're like trying to talk, and she's like, shut up. I'm watching this movie. <laughs> Wait, you've never seen this? Like, <laughs> she had never seen it. Wow. Yeah. How, I was how like, how you go this far in life? I don't know. Without knowing about throat rips and roadhousing. <laughs> you know what, dude? <laughs> <laughs> how do you go this far in life without that version of Sam Elliott? Yeah. Like you're, what, So what is your Sam Elliott? I guess Tombstone. That's fine. I mean... My, f- my probably Tombstone was my first one, but I don't remember him from that. My first one was Big Lebowski. Yeah, but that's when he was already Sam Elliott instead yeah. of just a great mustache. Yeah, <laughs> just mustache <laughs> and mustache as <laughs> <laughs> Sam Elliott's mustache played by Sam Elliott. <laughs> I do my own mustache don't work. <laughs> When the other uh, two generals are meeting again, again, jumped a little when bit, but it just kind of jumps. Generals meet before you. <laughs> it's snake time now. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go through all these episodes and cut out all your songs and just make an album. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's greatest hits. Now, this is what I call ma- music with Jack. <laughs> now, that's what I call podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is podcasting. We're on a Star Wars thing today, and I'm all right with it. It's pretty wizard. <laughs> that should have caught on. <laughs> But the in between these scenes, the nurse dies. Yeah, but then quickly then, too. Yeah. So this is one of uh, two times that I can think of. We have friends that work in hospitals. Is it common practice to let someone flatline and not try anything? No, that's exactly the note I took later on. Yeah, later on it happens again. But even this one, I'm like, where's the defibs? I know you're not doing mouth to mouth because <laughs> you know it's uh, the whole. Uh, Virus. You know, virus thing. Thank you. Couldn't <laughs> think of the fucking word. It, because of the virus. Uh, Just yeah. think about uh, John Malkovich. You'll remember. <laughs> Cyrus the virus. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. I wanted to see some. I mean, even if not defibrillators, a little hand on the chest. You think Dr. fucking Swarmy would be over here trying to cop a feel on a dead body? <laughs> uh, lucky man. Lucky man. Lucky man. Two. <laughs> Don't three, worry. Four. I'll do it. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we get him off? I'm trying. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Dr. Swarmy. <laughs> he's, not, he's not allowed by the coma patients anymore. His first name is Buck. I was going to say he's got a keychain that says sex machine or whatever. Was that uh, what it was? Pussy wagon? Pussy wagon. Pussy That's what wagon. It was. Sex machine something else. Uh, it is one of the characters from Dust Till Dawn. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. That's a um, uh, very special effects I was going to say very, very his name famous. Right now. Yeah. Uh, Michael Imperioni. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I know. I know. He's. I, I'm. I'm really upset that I can't think of his name. It's really bothering it's me. Some, but that's not what this is in it. Oh, so, it's um, like Missoula, Washington, or something. <laughs> There's I'm, no season that. I'm, what? Missoula <laughs> spelled with s's. Once again, my lack of spelling <laughs> has come to bite me in the ass. Um. Anyway, yeah, with the dick gun. So that's a different movie that we'll probably do too. We, yeah. we can, then we can do all the sequels. I hope so. God bless Texas that Texas Blood scene. Money and that other one. I don't care if you have foot fetish or not. Most people I know are drinking tequila off Selma Hayek's toes. 
All right. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of from dusk till dawn, this has nothing to do with it. It kind of does. Somebody, this movie group I'm in, people always post like pictures and I'm like, what movie am I watching? And I usually skip over that stuff because I hate that. Yeah. But this one person was posting a bunch of pictures and it was all, it was clearly the Gecko Brothers. It was the news, the chick news reporter from, uh, from dusk till dawn yeah. and something else. And I'm like, well, it looks like from dusk till dawn, but it's not because the Gecko Brothers thing was like a news report. Was it like a TV a, show? It, it was some other movie, and I, I can't remember what it was called. I have to look it up. But they do. It was, I guess, produced by Quentin Tarantino very early on. So it definitely directly references a bunch of Dust Till Dawn stuff. That chick is playing the same news reporter. Right. So it's supposed to be like shared universe, even though it has to do with it. And this fucking incel's posing it, trying to throw you off. Yeah. Everybody was like, from Dust Till Dawn. And I was like, you guys are all idiots. He wouldn't yeah. have posted a picture of fucking George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino if he was trying to fool you. No, you post a picture of Harvey, of Harvey Keitel turn into a vampire and see what happens. <laughs> Just post a picture of Selma Hayek's foot. You post a picture of that Asian kid with condoms on his bandoliers full of holy water. <laughs> holy water. Just a close-up of the dick gun. I said holy water, and uh, that's a Christmas drink. <laughs> it's made with gin. <laughs> and that's it? It's just a <laughs> mouthful just, of gin? It's just gin, and you put a cranberry <laughs> on top of it. <laughs> you get a mouthful of gin, you get under a mistletoe, and you spit it in someone's mouth. <laughs> you are not welcome. So anyway... <laughs> Cobra, I have nothing you were talking about. Cobra Commander tells Mancheck that uh, the wife, Doctor Hot, cannot research this because it's a matter of national security. Uh huh. That's like we did the death scene and we jump back to this because it jumps back and forth for no reason. We might as well jump back and forth. Yeah. And they do. The and Mancheck doesn't question it, even though they're both generals. I feel mm-hmm. like he's got the ability to be like, "But why?" Yeah, but he I, should. Yes, I, I don't know how. Militarying works. I, I'm not a big militarier myself. <laughs> militarier. Oh like my a, god, Jack a, Russell Terrier in the army. Yeah, it's a little dog with a machine gun. <laughs> oh, the sequel is called Pause for Effect. <laughs> he can tell you all about it. <laughs> oh man, this army's gone to the dogs. <laughs> Oh, man, it's a good thing there's not much happening in this movie. <laughs> we're nowhere near it. Dude, we've just started. <laughs> oh. Oh. We should have done a 30-second summary, but we're too late now. Oh, yeah, it's too late. Yeah. There's a virus. The there's a virus. <laughs> we had to hurry. There's a virus. We're my meeting is so fucking... speaking of dogs, I'll get it back to the movie. Okay. <laughs> Treat Williams finds the dead dog. Oh, because of this beautiful blackboard scene that he writes. I, I, am I am I wrong? I, I, I don't go ahead. But at some point, not, the blackboard scene I'm where he's sure. like, "Okay," and he's got <laughs> he might as well have red string. <laughs> it's like, okay, dog gets bit by snake. Oh yes, old yes. man gets licked by dog, dies, and under it just says death. And it's like Billy bit by snake, infects diner, diner this that dies. <laughs> like, it's, it's it's yeah. He drew a a, a branching path like chart. For nothing. And again, it's Treat Williams where I'd be upset. <laughs> like, I would have been mad at you for watching this movie if it wasn't Treat Williams grounding it and just, like, he's never won an Oscar. He's not that, he wasn't that type of actor. But I feel personally, maybe I'm biased, he elevates the roles that he's in. Yeah, that's what that's what I mean is I'm like, he's just got this charm. That's what I was saying yeah. earlier. It's just like, whatever he's doing, you're just like, I believe you. Absolutely, dude. Like, <laughs> if, he wanted to, if he wanted to give me a spanking, I would probably think it's for my own good and say, please, sir, may I have three more? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just thinking about it. Sorry. <laughs> thinking about him spanking me or you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Either way, red cheeks. <laughs> So yeah, the, yes, you're right. This was it's at the same time because I put treat figures out snake bite. That was my note. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, because now we've got fuck. Did, uh, it's all over the place, man. The 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 two generals, the two generals that kneel before you are now <laughs> like replacing blood samples. Like it was E. coli. Oh yeah. There is no. There's no weird snaky snake fucking virus. It's just E. coli. Yeah, and she you tells dumb, Treat Williams doctor. that, and he's like, "I'm pretty sure I know what E. coli looks like. Yeah. I'm not a fucking idiot. Yeah, <laughs> I know I'm a bumpkin town doctor, but I'm not a moron. <laughs> but in fairness, you've also never seen snake bites do this. Yeah. So there's something there. Yeah. He's Dude. making the connection because of the dog. By the way, snake puppets in this movie had me rolling. <laughs> I mean, there's real snakes in this movie, yeah. and then there's not. 
and it is oh, really like easy to tell. Oh, you mean that part where there's tell. the den, and there's like four real snakes, and then just uh-huh. a thousand rubber snakes? Uh-huh. <laughs> but when they're shooting out of the holes after an earthquake, dude, like, it is just... Like fucking the, the, can of, <laughs> the can of peanuts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a 1920s practical joke. <laughs> 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 but the, the general storms into the... the uh, we'll know which one because he's yeah. the general. The other one's Cobra Commander. Yes, that's how the general it goes. storms into the hospital, dressed like one of the FBI guys at the end of ET or the, the hazmat people. There's a real shriek from one of these nurses. Yeah, that <laughs> scares the <laughs> shit out of that nurse. I don't know if she knew it was happening. She wasn't listening when they called yeah. action. <laughs> she didn't read before. Like she didn't read the scripts before. She's like, I think I'm just supposed to stand here being extra. What the fuck is that? No, the guy that plays the general just went before his cue. She was supposed to walk past the door. He saw her walking past. I was like, watch this. Watch this. Boom! <laughs> hey, you want to hear my ex-wife scream? <laughs> I got her role in this movie, fuck her. <laughs> now she's going to be known for doing venomous. <laughs> so are you, though. What a loser. Oh, wait. That's fine. I'll be on Dexter in a few years. Don't Sorry, worry about I've it. I've got my work. I, I got a great voice for this. Dude, he shows this army ID to the Dr. Schwarmy or whatever. I made one of these when I was in first grade, dude. This is, it literally has like, the like a font that would be in a tattoo on the top, like <laughs> U.S. Army. Pretty sure I saw a gold star and a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a print. It's printed on bright green paper and uh-huh. laminated at a FedEx. <laughs> oh, we missed. We got to go back real quick to when Treat first goes to the sheriff, because the sheriff you you love to see a scene where a local sheriff is cleaning his guns, right? And just, you know, washing out the cylinder of a revolver, like cleaning that shit out or putting... <laughs> this is a fucking flare gun. And it might as well be Treat's flare gun. You know what I mean? It's it's the Chekhov's... It come around, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it, literally Chekhov's but gun. But normally, you expect it to be a little bit more subtle. Yeah. But Treat's just like, that thing's not going to go off, is he? He's like, nope, just an old flare gun. It's just good to keep them in working order so you know that they work. Wink. Speaking wink, of Q. Wink. <laughs> so the sheriff is Q then. He's like, I've yeah. got this gun. It shoots flares. I invented it. It actually <laughs> blinds stealth bombers. It's the only thing it does. <laughs> this guy seemed like a cool, like, like he's probably in a lot of cool shit. But then I looked him up and I was like, nah. Nope. He just never found his vehicle. Yeah. He's like, the sheriff just seemed like one of those, like, I'm probably mostly an asshole, but like, like I sure. thought he was going to be an asshole in this movie. He's just kind of in it. No, he's here. I mean, he's here just to show us a flare gun. And then relinquish control of the town to to the man check. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Goodbye. So they call for a communication blackout and a quarantine so nobody can get through. And They're then so immediately lucky after the communi- here. <laughs> immediately after the communication blackout, we have a scene of Christine calling her sister in the town <laughs> and they're talking. I'm like that that should be stat kind no, of thing, right? No, like, she's got a plot phone. <laughs> Q Q already visited this town. Pal. Yeah, once she sees the news report about the communications blackout, then her phone doesn't work. Yeah, it's one of those things where if she doesn't know, it doesn't affect oh, her. Oh shit! I watched the report. Damn it! <laughs> now I don't have a phone. I also read a report in the virus. I might be infected now. I wasn't earlier. <laughs> That's how viruses work. Uh huh. <laughs> ask the ask <laughs> ask coronavirus and Facebook. <laughs> If you don't like this post, you'll get coronavirus. Oh, no. Share it 10 times. <laughs> coronavirus? <laughs> Most people from Arizona did. <laughs> hey, forward this virus 10 times. Like today. Done or- and done. <laughs> oh, so this is where we see the den. That's my note. It's four real snakes and a bunch of rubber shit. Oh, yeah. Dude, these things aren't even like, they don't even look semi-real. No. They look like the rubber snakes that you would get if you bought like like a Halloween or like if you went to a toy store when we were kids and they had like the big bag full of Let's like make it critters. current, Derek. You go on Timu and you get a 50-pack <laughs> of assorted snakes. I guess that's fair. Now you get it on Timu for 99 cents. When we were kids, you had to go to Toys R Us and then beg your parents because it was like $9. And uh-huh. they're like, no, you're just going to lose them all in three days and I'm going to be finding snakes and spiders all over the house. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> that's yeah. what it looks like, though. They, it is, oh, they're not laughable. even painted correctly. Like You know how those things were always like off center and it like it looks like somebody just threw a little water and dirt on them yeah and was like well they're dirty you can't tell they're fake because they're dirty see those four glistening real snakes that are crawling on top of all these other ones so clearly my first thought was did these snakes kill all the other snakes it looked like petrified snakes yeah <laughs> this den used to actually be a lava flow for a volcano <laughs> <laughs> it's the pompeii of snakes man <laughs> I mean, there is something to um, snake dens will eat other snakes. Like, they have an idea as a society how many of them there needs to be to survive, and they just will eat the other ones if there aren't, if, it, if there's not enough room. Also, I'm pretty sure that, like, 
different types of snakes don't live in dens together? As far as I know, absolutely not. Because in this movie, more than once, it's like the 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 snake, like the titular venomous snake here, uh-huh. is rattlesnakes. Sure. But I say snakes, it was probably like one the whole time they were like, that one's good at hissing. Yep. But like, there are that one's garden. Good at garden- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Show me a snake that's bad at hissing. It's like, <sighs> it's good at performing the hiss <sighs> on cue. You know? I can't figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a dog that can't bark. So. <laughs> um, but it's. There's when they're going through the den later on. I think maybe even now. There's like gardener snakes. There's like these long black snakes. There's uh-huh. all kinds of snakes, mostly non poisonous. I, I was gonna say I, I'm pretty sure we saw some like boas, which don't have fangs the way that we think. Fun fact. Ooh. Don't know if it has anything to do with this movie, but in, during the credits, one of the grips was credited as uh, Noah. The boa, Shane. Oh, he's got a huge penis, and he shows it all the time on set. You don't invite Noah the boa to your party unless you want to see that thing. He will choke you out. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, he will. So this, this is the point when Cobra Commander decides to introduce the idea of Directive 712, and he's talking Calls to- Calls his local senator. Yeah, he's talking to the president's head of security something, something. Blah, he blah, says blah. it later. I don't know. It sounds fake. Uh-huh. And I, I've heard a lot of government positions. This one didn't sound real. At first, I was like, is this supposed to be the president? Because this looks like one of the portables from like elementary school yeah. when they needed to add classrooms. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only reason I knew it wasn't the president is because they say he says at one point, Eventually he the says president it, yeah. won't go for this. Yeah. Like, but wait, at the beginning, wait, I was you like, you won't? I mean, it's a white guy with gray hair. I was like, must be the president. Well, yep. <laughs> I've seen I've seen Hollywood movies before. If he's not the president, he's Reed Richards. <laughs> you know what? This Cobra Commander guy could be Dr. Doom. Oh yeah, he's got a very Doctor Doom vibe. I would take I would take him for Doctor Doom over uh, Nip Tuck. Nip Tuck, whatever the fuck that guy's yeah. name was. Yeah, the only reason that. people thought that he was a good uh, I was like Cobra Commander. The only <laughs> reason they thought Nip Tuck was a good Doctor Doom is because everybody else in that movie is so fucking trash. Yeah, that you're like, oh no no, he's actually pretty good. It's like no, he's just not the worst. No, he's just act- acting. Yeah. He showed yeah. up that He's night. delivering lines. He actually did some dry runs with his wife or husband the night before to practice. Well, everybody's you showed up. Everybody's delivering lines, yeah, just not his, performances. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but his, yeah, his work, his stick. <laughs> Jessica Alba says beaker, and I fucking lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Alba, not a scientist. <laughs> I want that shirt. <laughs> Jessica Alba, not a scientist. She, I almost believe her as a scientist as much as I believe Denise Richards as a nuclear physicist. Same grounds. Named Christmas, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're a stripper is what you are. <laughs> Get to it. I've Dr. got wild things Dr. up there. Dr. Swarmy's waiting for you. I've got wild things up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, open up your blouse and say, ah. <laughs> Dr. Swarmy. So this town, by the way, this is a, like the third or fourth time they've showed this, quote, town, yeah. which is one street, <laughs> surrounded, <laughs> hey, surrounded by houses in the here, wilderness. Dude. This is the fakest looking movie town i've ever seen mm-hmm. i've been to like old tucson and i've been yeah. to like movie set things like universal studios you know back lot and all that stuff this is just this is the town in the fake town they built in blazing saddles looks more like a real <laughs> town than <laughs> the, this town the fake town that's supposed to be a fake town yeah the one yeah. that they built in the movie oh yeah <laughs> no they've got a couple shots of like real cottages and the rest is just not yeah these are just like squares they built out of wood and then painted various colors and the signs are like sheriff's office store mail like you know, <laughs> you know what is working in this movie though besides street williams is this sponsored by the military because their hardware and their gear outside of the paintball masks mind you <laughs> dude yeah there are we'll soldiers there. yeah sorry we'll get to that <laughs> but the rest of this though like when the military comes in they've got some good looking um, um, vehicles. They've got some good-looking props for That's the military. That's where all the money was spent, it seems like. The, Had the, to be. the military stuff, the explosions, because there are real explosions. You think this studio's done other movies like this and been like, you know, we have all these, we have it the, must, the deuce they and the quarters. Must have. It's one of those things, it's one of those things where they were like, look, these guys are shooting this military movie next door. Yeah. They're going to be done at three. If you need the tanks, we just roll They've got them all the soldiers just going across like the edge. <laughs> well, aren't people going to recognize me? Put on a paintball mask. You get paid twice today. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> you get you get an extra slice of pizza at your party. 
<laughs> we got you. You don't, you don't even get that little donate to charity slice. You know you what? You get one. to hang out with Nick DeBoa. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that was his name. One of the guys is just like, sign me up. I'm here for it. <laughs> But yeah, I, got, I was getting real COVID vibes here because they're like locking down the town, this fake, fake, fake town. <laughs> and Lock down the town? You mean push the buildings over? <laughs> and not knock down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said lock down the town. We already started. <laughs> um, but the military is going up and down the streets and they've got this guy on a bullhorn just yelling like, do not leave your house for non-essential purposes, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, well, so if he can you go leave to the bar, your house, you will can, be infected. He can go to bars. You can go to dispensaries. <laughs> what else was essential during uh, that grocery shit? Stores, grocery stores. Any job. Yeah. Um, I mean, I doubt this town has a, a dispensary, but you know they have a local drug dealer. I mean, it's California. They were the first ones, but it yeah. wasn't too, not, not yet, right? That was like 2004, maybe. Um, they're still, I mean, they're still in the forefront pioneering yeah, marijuana. Yeah, but it wasn't medical yeah. there yet. Oh, just over this hill is a bunch of real primo green being grown. But the thing with this town is... Even if it was when it was legally medical, it wasn't in this town. Not in this town. Uh-uh. <laughs> Treat Williams probably would have advocated for it. Oh, man. And this guy, I think he's, yeah, he's right here. This oh, this prepper? old angry white man. Wow. <laughs> Come on. Ease up on old angry white guys for a second here. I've had it This rough. whole segment, I was just like, man, this is just like Facebook a couple years ago. Uh-huh. There's an old white man yelling about the government and how they're not going to control him and they can't tell me what to do and then he's like we got supplies right and the 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 who I thought was his son but I guess it's his oh, brother Oh it's his brother and yeah he's I'm like with 40 you years on that. younger than him like yeah, he says cuz he says button that uh nail that down real tight brother and I'm like is he saying like the hell yeah brother yeah. no that's your brother. His, his brother yeah and he's like we still got them Y2K supplies right we may be a little short on ammo Excuse me? What, have you, who uh, have what you happened to shooting? the ammo? Yeah. What happened to the ammo guy? We got plenty of food and water. Look, so you that sign drinking. says trespassers may be shot. It, trespassers will be shot. He sir. just crossed out may. It doesn't add will though. This is trespassers be shot. <laughs> trespassers be shot. <laughs> this is one of those families that has a sign somewhere in the house that says we don't call nine one one with a picture of a gun on it. <laughs> he's got a bumper sticker that says my horn is a shotgun. <laughs> uh, he's got a t-shirt that says you can pry from my cold dead hands. <laughs> he's got a tattoo of old Charlton Heston on his buttocks. And one of those don't tread on me flags. <laughs> yeah, Ironically, it's got a rattlesnake on it. Strange. Which is what kills him right uh-huh. now, because he doesn't listen to the government, and he doesn't listen to rattles, and he doesn't listen to a rattlesnake that's under this pile of wood he's working on. I gotta tell you, no one in this fucking movie knows that for for a town that apparently has rattlesnakes around it, like that has desert around it. None of these people know how to react to a rattle. Living in the desert, but in a city, yeah, I've seen like one or two rattlesnakes, like but you out grew in up the with world. the knowledge. I didn't go to them. Yes. Oh, except that one time I stepped on one. I'm going to tell you right now, though, <laughs> if you... What? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to back myself up here. You stepped right. on a rattlesnake? <laughs> yes. So when I was a kid, I was in high school, and I was walking to... You were a- in high school as a kid? <laughs> Hold on. We got to go back even further now. <laughs> I was walking to... A different bus stop than my bus stop because I wanted to hang out with my friends before we got on the bus because that's how lame I was. I think we were probably going to get high. For sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lame. <laughs> Walking down the side of this road. We we live kind of towards the edge of town, right? That's where I grew up. It was the edge. Now it's got a Walmart, so it doesn't count. Living um, on the edge. <laughs> walking through the desert to get to this other bus stop with my friends. It's like a January morning, so it's cold out. Yep. Got headphones on, just Which walking. Means snakes are out trying to get that sun. But it's cold, so they're not quick. Uh huh. So I'm walking, and I put my foot down and feel soft, and like I don't step all the way. I feel soft, and I like move my foot back and look down. Coiled up rattlesnake, that and its head is out and its mouth is open because I just stepped on it. And yeah. It's like, but it couldn't even rattle because it was so cold. Because we're waiting for the school bus at yeah. six o'clock in the morning or something. I like stepped on it and I like looked down and I fucking bolt. I ran back like 20 feet. I was like, Went what home. the fuck? Went home. <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked at it and it's just sitting there like hissing, like not hissing, like putting its tongue out, but not rattling and just opening its mouth. Yeah. Like it's like, I don't have the energy to rattle, but don't fuck with me, man. It's, it's fucking morning. It's cold. Can you just not I step on me, I haven't even had me, my bro. coffee. <laughs> yeah. No, that was terrifying. I could have died. It was a fun yeah. time. But so if you and I walked outside right now and heard a rattlesnake, we wouldn't like keep walking. We would stop 
and look around yeah. and figure out where this thing is. Yeah. I wouldn't go reaching under any sort of limp lumber. <laughs> like, you know, I was grew up with that hammer I had. If you wear boots, rattlesnakes can't bite you because they go for your, your calves. Yeah. And I was like, oh, cool. I just won't go into the desert then. I'm not wearing boots. Yeah, this is an easy <laughs> fix, dude. <laughs> it's the same reason I'm not scared of sharks anymore. <laughs> I don't go in the ocean. I don't go in pools just in case. Just, just in case. <laughs> also, stop taking baths. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. Look, I've I've been in Florida. There's alligators in pools. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm scared of alligators. <laughs> All right. So Christine now comes to town because she couldn't get a hold of her sister right after she called her. Uh-huh. She just drives up and shows this DOD badge, which looks convincing. Why couldn't they just give the, the, the general one of these badges? <laughs> yeah. Like come give on. Them the same one. I wouldn't be paying attention. <laughs> just copy or just cut out a picture of him and glue it on there or just color her hair like differently i don't know yeah, put a hat on her i don't even know if it's her picture but anyways, it looks like a real badge and they let did oh okay you're with the dod go on in wouldn't there be a list no they know she's dr hot <laughs> she's third in command or the cobra commander but this is when we see the paintball masks because uh, so the, most of them have gas masks like the big like legit cartridge on the side. Yeah, Russia's attacking us in the eighties. Gas masks. But why is the guy with this paintball mask in the foreground? Like yeah. this guy walks in and you only see him from like kind of the side. You see he's wearing a mask and then he turns and looks directly toward the camera. Oh, he spikes that lens. Clearly, no cartridges. There's no filter. There's no. It's it's literally like they Sunlight. were. They ran out of masks and they were like, look, if you want to be. I know we said you guys could be extras. Uh-huh. If you want to be an extra, you got to bring your own gas mask. This guy uh-huh. showed up with a paintball mask, and they were like, good enough. That'll work. Looks no, they ran like out it. of gas mask budget. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. They're like, fuck, dude. We, we used have, all that general's hazmat suit. We have five gas masks, and every time we change scenes, everybody has to switch masks. <laughs> we're running out of daylight here. Ah, uh, gas mask stinks. <laughs> Look, viruses aren't real. Just give them your mask. It'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> I'm just going to mention it for a second because I wrote it down and then I realized it wasn't going anywhere. There's like this thread where at first you think Jimmy, who is the sister's son, oh, yeah. is going to get bitten by a snake because they show him outside playing and they show a snake and he's like, oh, cool, and reaches into a I bush. I thought Jimmy was done. Yeah. And then he comes in with a kitten and you're like, ah, adorable. And then like kitten. we just go through that whole thing real quick because he like names the kitten and he gets she says he gets to keep it and all this stuff. And then there's a rattlesnake in his bedroom. Before this, there's a rattlesnake in their fucking kitchen. Yes. They, behind like a flower container. And I'm like, not flowers, the flower. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I just, I laughed because I'm like, dude, in my kitchen, which is not huge, I could tell you where all the snakes are. And this is a brightly lit white kitchen. White kitchen. Just what snakes a, don't hide in. Yeah. And it's, it's rattling. Do we, <laughs> does anybody know the purpose of the rattle? Every it's time they show you, this there. snake. That's why I think it's the same one. It's like a snake that just did the, the coil and, and rattle and oh, hiss good on, at hissing. on cue. Yeah. Because it's like, it's on the counter. It's rattling and hissing. She just walks right by. Uh-huh. It's in his bedroom, rattling and hissing. She says good night and leaves. She's uh-huh. like, that must be one of his toys. I don't know. <laughs> and then it bites the kitten. And I was like, oh, now the kitten's going to bite the kid or something. Disappears. No, That's over. The cat apparently gets eaten boa style by this rattlesnake because <laughs> it's nasty. That must again. be. Yeah, that must be what happened because in the morning, the kid's like, where's sparkles or what do you name her uh, sally 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 field Where, where's sally <laughs> that's the end yep. I, I was just like why include this yeah there's cut be that a, out there's two minutes you know we're what? down to 135 that cat's coming back and number two is a snake <laughs> snake cat, cat. snake <laughs> cat snake <laughs> half cat half snake mostly snake <laughs> Dude, these snakes, by the way, but when we're at the sister's house, we see it in the kitchen and everything they're like assaulting her house uh-huh because they are all over the place oh yeah like they show the shot of the house in the distance, and this field is just full of snakes, snakes that are like moving tree. toward the house. There's snakes hanging out of trees. Like, they're everywhere. How does nobody like, wow, that's weird. I'd be driving by like, honey, look at the fucking snakes in that tree. I'd be like, well, I guess I'm going in the house, closing the doors and windows, and never leaving. Looks like we're moving out. <laughs> well, you can't leave because of the quarantine. So. I'd rather die trying. <laughs> quarantine or die trying. Quarantine or die. <laughs> Aww. That's that's that, that was actually uh, proposed during COVID for the new Arizona flag. Uh-huh. It was, uh, <laughs> what was the image? Quarantine or die trying. Just and of... It was just people trying to leave their houses. <laughs> the government just mowing us down. It's a snake and a mask trying to leave a house. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't notice the snake on the counter, whatever, whatever. Also, in this montage of nothing, uh, they do end up getting a snake 
I think this is, I think Treat Williams ends up catching the snake. Oh yeah, because he's the only one still on this. Everyone's like, no, it's it's done yeah. because all the original infected people are dead. He says, by the way, he's like, I have an idea of where to find these snakes because they don't know where they are, right? Yeah, because they're and he just knows that there's this hatch to like a scary tunnel outside of town. Sure, <laughs> but it has police stuff uh, 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 tape. Police tape in it. Like, what happened here? <laughs> what story are we not I mean, getting? I, mean, I guess he grew up in this town, and he's like, well, that's where we used to smoke weed in that yeah. tunnel. Like, I don't know. Until that girl got killed by snake bites. <laughs> we stopped smoking weed there. All those snakes raped that girl. All of a sudden- <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. Ew. <laughs> You're sorry. Noah I'm the one boa. had to hear it. <laughs> oh, God. Old Nick Boa. Jesus. You don't smoke weed with Nick Boa unless you want to see it. <laughs> But yeah, he goes there and he captures a snake in the bag. But he's got snake boots. I have that is in my this notes. When he captures it. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, because he's got he's got the snake hook. So he goes down. He, they make the anti venom, so he had to have captured him. So already. yeah, yeah. Well, he, yeah, he goes down. He's got his little snake hook, and these snakes start biting at him. Like, what the hell is he gonna do? Snake boots. He talks to these snakes. He talks to them. He's like, hey, hey, no, do that now. Hey, easy now. And they listen. Because he's Treat Williams. Because he, why wouldn't you listen? Also, though, when he's trying to climb out of this the thing, the snake starts start climbing, chasing him up the ladder. I was like, no, no, never. But have you, well, have you seen snakes climb? No, I mean, I know they can. It's insane. Like I mean, I've seen about, like a, a snake, like a terrarium where they have like the branch. Um, but there's like, a recent video I've seen with the what's the red, the king coral, right? Poisonous one was going in and out of brickwork, like on a on a house. That has the brick, you know, all the yeah. the grout and all the fuck. It was climbing up the house that way. And I was like, that's nightmare fuel. That is nothing but nightmare fuel. Because you figure like, oh, snakes are inv- invading Tucson. Let's just get on our roofs. Not anymore. We live in a desert. That's one reason I'll never live in like Australia. That, yeah. That desert is a whole other thing. Oh, yeah. Those snakes don't bother climbing through your bricks. They just, jump, they just are... knock on your door and they break, burst in when you answer it. And those snakes are scared <laughs> of spiders. <laughs> Because those spiders are terrifying. Because those spiders eat snakes. <laughs> it's the worst. Th- Australia's hell. And the ants eat the spiders. <laughs> and the gnats eat the ants. They get bigger. It's the opposite of it's here. It's the opposite. That's <laughs> terrifying. Not to mention that poisonous jellyfish. I'm back out of the water. <laughs> so we get a thing here that is, this is where the fun starts. Like nothing's really happened oh, up to yeah. this point. But this redneck brother bursts into this hospital demanding his brother back. And they're like, no, he's dying. You need to leave him here so we can try to as help said, him. As we said earlier, though, this is surrounded by military. Yeah. And this guy comes in with one handgun and is able to take over. Yeah. I don't blame these doctors for not being able to stop him. That's not their fucking <laughs> job. I'm like, where are these armed guards at every exit except the one he came in through? <laughs> no one will use that one. It says emergency. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him, and he said he didn't have a gun on him. So he drags his brother out, puts him in the car. He pulls. These, by the way, he's pulling his brother out, who is in a hospital gown, looking like a zombie, IVs. coughing. Ivy's hanging out of him because he pulls goes out, he past says, these two guards, these two military guards, and they're just like, "Have a good day, sir." Carry on, sir. And he throws him in the car and drives away. And then the doctor comes out, and I was like, "By the way, there's a." fucking plague patient in that car and they're like oh shit get him oh i thought he was just sleepy and, like they call and they're like oh somebody's gotten out da, 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 da. and i'm sitting here going you just got fired yeah oh yeah you're done <laughs> like, you're getting thrown into a pit of snakes dude cobra commander is gonna pull a fucking a <laughs> trap door and you're going down how did you let them escape <laughs> that's what you get <laughs> it's- but this is wonderful this guy is driving away in this lincoln town car like he's a fucking What's that dude's name from Die Hard? <laughs> oh, oh, god damn it! It's not Orville. Oh, I can't think of his name right Argyle? now. Argyle, Argyle, yes. Argyle. He's driving away like Argyle. He's got this Lincoln Town car with the little fucking the boomerang antenna boomerang on the back. He's driving his brother away. He's like, "Don't worry, we'll get away from him." And he's just swerving through these trees in the desert and shit. With a helicopter chasing him, <laughs> yeah. his helicopter is firing on him. Out Warning of this, shots out of this fucking coffee can that it doesn't look like a gun to me so it's i don't think this exists on this helicopter but it's supposed to be like an underbelly turret yeah i mean i could tell it was like a turret thing but it looked like the prop department made out of a coffee can exactly. and a tube yeah like <laughs> but he's firing on him the car is swerving they shoot a fucking rocket at him and blow up the, the i thought they blew up the car but they yeah. just blow up the engine i guess oh, precise this, shooting here this dude gets out of the car 
pulls a fucking bazooka out of his trunk. I expected a machine gun. Yeah. At best. I, I think he's just going to fire his pistol at them. Nope. Nope. He's got a bazooka in the trunk of his car. And this he is blows military this, grade. Yeah. Well, he I guess all bazookas are. Right? I don't think they make a consumer unless bazooka. In, unless you're in Texas, you got that home defense bazooka. <laughs> There's my hunting bazooka. <laughs> it's coming right for us. Honey, get your purse bazooka out. <laughs> There's trouble at the church. And he blows this fucking chopper out of the sky. Two bits. I mean, it's a good explosion. Yeah. You mentioned earlier, this is the budget. Yeah. Real explosion. Because that happened and I was like, oh shit, that was real. That's flame. Because I expected, I was like, oh, he's going to blow it up. But I expected CG, like you expected 2000 CG explosion. Made for TV sci-fi yeah. explosion. Yeah, bad. Sci-fi channel, bad. I mean, by yeah. the way. Sifi. Yeah, Sifi. It was still sci-fi at this point, but we yeah. Didn't, yeah. Yeah, that's what you were expecting, but you know what you got was flames, smoke, heat. And then another helicopter comes up and fucking levels this car and this dude just wipes him off the face Scorched of the earth. Scorched earth. Yes, they never existed. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, and by the way, the brother passed out or died in the car before the uh, helicopter blew up the engine before the first helicopter. <laughs> so you taking your brother up? He's pulling out the IVs. By the way, he's like, "What is this shit? We don't need this shit." Yes, you do. Yeah, this is medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out when you're sick, and medicine he helps. And of course, he dies right there in the back seat of this fucking town car. And Argyle's got nothing to do with it now. I'm going out with shooting anyway. <laughs> I'm taking some of them with me. I mean, dude, I'd go out shooting if I had a bazooka in the trunk of my goddamn car. <laughs> I mean, you know you're not getting out of that alive. You yep. might as well fire your bazooka once. I've been waiting my entire life to fire this. We got the bazooka for a steal, but the fucking rocket that went okay. inside is expensive. <laughs> we got one. <laughs> Everybody gets one rocket. Tell them, Peter. I had a friend who had a some kind of automatic weapon that had a grenade launcher, like... Oh yeah, attachment. I, I want to say it's the M twenty. It's uh, if you play Call of Duty, it's the noob tube, but it goes under any sort of yeah. assault rifle you want. It, it's, it's illegal to buy grenades for it, though. Uh -huh. But you can buy smoke bombs. Ooh, so that's I like what that. that's what we used. Okay, so <laughs> real real quick segue because we don't ever go off track here. Uh, <laughs> recently rewatched, not for my first time, but Long Kiss Goodnight with Gina Davis, Samuel Jackson. Okay, yeah, yeah, solid movie. That might be a Shane Black as well. I think it is. I'm on a Shane Black kick without knowing it. <laughs> anyway, one of the dudes there has a lever action shotgun, which uh, think of Terminator 2 yeah. when he's doing the flip. But under that, he has the grenade attachment that you're talking about. That's awesome. Because I saw it shoot and I was like, wait, that's not what shotgun shells do. <laughs> and I started looking. I was like, oh my God, that guy's got like the ultimate Mad Max badass weapon. <laughs> I have a shotgun. Let me finish. That shoots grenades. <laughs> Don't worry. I sawed it off. Yes, the grenade tube also. Yeah. I don't know how that helps. It it gives it less distance. Uh, <laughs> I don't want the grenade to go too far. This is a shotgun. I'm not. Sh <laughs> I got to be close. So this is when we get the second earthquake of the movie. This is the one with the peanut cans. Oh, this is a big one. Launching snakes out of holes in a mountain. Yes. Well, I don't know what the fuck. I was laughing. I'm sitting alone in my home uh -huh. with my dog, uh -huh. laughing hysterically, and the dog is looking at me like, are you okay? Same thing over here, <laughs> except take that dog, make it a cat. It's like the same situation, dude. Because I'm laughing because like all of a sudden this mountain is just launching murder tubes. Out of it. Like, snakes are nothing but murder tubes, and you're it's flinging fair. them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god honey it's raining murder tubes there's, there's some snakes left in this den the earth's like i got them <laughs> <laughs> Wait, shake it out of here wait i gotta keep one in the chamber for later christine now is at back at the hospital doing some stuff to try to make anti-venom uh -oh. and she like cuts her hand because of the earthquake or something and i thought i was like oh this is when the ticking clock starts like they need to get the thing before she dies no one ever really mentions it she hides it like a true tough guy yeah you know what i don't think he had gotten the snakes yet they had gotten one it doesn't matter no one cares yeah yeah because i think after this is when he's like fuck it i gotta go get snakes we gotta uh, get the real thing i think they were using the blood from the dog or something maybe it doesn't matter no one gives a shit but so he does eventually get the snake and he says i've got enough here and uh dr swarmy says is it enough to cure everybody in the b-wing and he goes no it's enough to cure dr hot and that's enough for right now until we learn how to synthesize it. Synthesize because then it. she can make a synthetic version. she's smarter. He's like, I can make it out of the blood. Yep. I'm not going back in Snake 2. Treat Williams knows his place, and he knows the value of a smart, independent woman. That's yeah. why when she separated from him, he's like, hey, let me know when you want to come back. 
I'll be here. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You've seen this town? Not a lot to offer. I mean, she does want this treat in her mouth. Yes. She's looking for a treat, and he's looking for a trick. <laughs> he doesn't have to pay for it, though. They always <laughs> give it right back. Um, so this is when we get the other general, uh, sorry, Cobra Commander, talking get to that security right. guy again. And now he's telling him, like, oh, thousands of people have died in this town. He says in the f- approaching four figures, and this guy's like, that's 10% of the town. And I was like, there are 80 no people in this town maximum. Way. Yeah, there's no way. The max, the most this town ever has been was, in its heyday, 450 people. Yeah, there are 12 buildings uh-huh. in the town proper. Where would all these people be working? Yeah. <laughs> there's, well, there's, only, there's an opening at the diner. There's one opening at the diner. There's an opening at the mechanic shop. <laughs> what else we got, guys? <laughs> Whatever the fucking chick did that ate the cough burger. <laughs> <laughs> That's the special Ugh. today. Ugh. Ugh. It's a Bob's Burger thing, except on the oh yeah, cough it's a burger. special cough burger. He'd <laughs> <laughs> be dying to eat it. But he's lying about the numbers, saying that basically, or no, I think this point he's saying pretty much everybody in the town's dead. That's what he wants because he wants the president to to nuke it. Yeah, essentially, not nuke. Yeah, but they end up saying the seven directive seven twelve is a fire bomb, like a, a carpet bombing kind of thing. Yep. It, but I think it would normally just be like nuke that shit. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think they would still do it. They would just make sure they got the reporters, too. <laughs> My favorite, probably unintentional joke of this entire movie okay. is when Treat Williams sees Dr. Hot before she gets sick and gets put into the, the thing, when she's like right after she got cut. Uh huh. And she looks disturbed because she got cut and she knows she's She knows infected. she's got a clock. <laughs> Treat Williams comes up to her. He's like, hey, are you okay? And she's like, yeah. He's like, uh, are you okay after the, the earthquake or whatever? And she's like, yeah, I'm fine. I just, you know, whatever. He says, you look a little shook up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch it. I would have been laughing. <laughs> and if he would have been like, you look a little shook up. Hey, hey like wink. That, yeah, that would have been like, okay, it's meant to be a joke. He's just like, you just look a little shook up. And they're very serious. And I was uh-huh. like, no one? No nope. one? Anybody? All right, got Anybody? It. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, one of the other things, because this is when he goes down to the snake basement. <laughs> but one of the other things I, I put down was he's looking and down. He catches the one. He looks back where he has to walk, and there's snakes everywhere. Yeah. All different kinds of snakes. And his line is, why didn't I bring a gun? I don't think guns are that useful against a snake unless you're a very good marksman. Or I, have, I happen to have a very specific handgun that shoot shotgun shells that you can get snake load for. Speaking of Mad Max. So, yeah, dude, it is a Mad Max gun. Anybody interested, it is the Taurus Judge. It shoots a 45 or a 410. That's the greatest name for a gun ever. So it's actually called the Judge because it was carried by judges. Oh, like, that makes sense. It's got a whole story. I've heard of this before. If you put in the right bullet, like a 410 shotgun shell, you have a very, very low, uh, sorry, short distance of that'll actually work, but you have a giant spread. And if you are close enough, like if you're the defendant this close to me, I'll put a hole through you. Yeah. And I barely have to aim, which yeah. is why it's the gun that I sleep with. Because <laughs> if I have to like wake up and aim, I'm probably already dead. Yeah. But if I can just spray and pray, <laughs> which I do every night. <laughs> uh, but so yeah, yeah. He's, he's so that's when the snakes are chasing him and stuff. It's great. Dude, don't do that. <laughs> don't bite me, bad snake. Hey, knock it off. Okay, uh, treat. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> um, so someone else dies, or so they're at the hospital, and we've got the the other doctor, Doctor Schmarmy. Yeah, with the he's got a mask on, he's got like a respirator on or something, and he's doing something with a patient. And then immediately when he's done, oh no, the person dies. No, no, he takes over. That's what it is. Sorry. He takes over for Dr. Hot, and he's finishing screwing these vials closed. Gotcha. They're both wearing masks and hazmat suits. and all. Even though we know it's not airborne. Yeah. We'd ha- it has to but be puncture or lick. Be, or, or, yeah. yeah, I guess. Precautions are fine. Yeah. But he screws this tube closed. He's still in this room that is not a clean room and immediately takes his mask off. And that's when I was just like, fucking Arizona. Yep. <laughs> Keep your mask on. What if I put it right here? That's not on. <laughs> what if it's just over my nose? <laughs> what if it's just under my mouth? <laughs> what if it's near me? What if it's in my pocket? What if he's one of these assholes that try to get creative? He's like, you got to wear a mask. He just comes in with a, like a gimp mask. Zzz, looks like it's all clear here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. I mean, I, I never saw that in real life. I saw it on the internet. 
that I would have I would have probably high five that person high elbow. Yeah, high elbow. I would have given you a, a <laughs> low, a far away five. <laughs> Air uh, five. Demolition man. I would have demolition man five you. So Christine collapses in the hallway, and <laughs> Treat Williams and this other doctor have a discussion about who's going to milk the snake, which oh. is pretty gross. The, the, the grip back there is like, you can milk this snake. Shut up, Nick. <laughs> it's Noah. Noah the boa. Oh, because it rhymes. Yeah. All right. It's fair. <laughs> they spelled Noah N-O-A. I'm like, doesn't that spell with an H? But it doesn't match visually with yeah. boa. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would have spelled boa with an H. <laughs> Noah boa. the boa. Noah the boa. <laughs> Klingon? <laughs> but they, they do make a vaccine just for Christine, and then... She gets better. Yeah, because there's like, And there's no vaccine for Christine. And oh, but before she gets better, time number two, we don't give a shit about flatlining because he administers the. Uh, oh, that's right. Antidote. That happens later in the movie. But yeah, we'll get just go ahead and do it. Oh, it yeah. does happen later? Yeah, I was I wrote antibodies for Christine. But I think they're just talking about making them. Okay. But it doesn't matter. We can do it. Yeah, because yeah, she so definitely. When, when dies. she does get better, before she gets better, it just flatlines. Like he's like, uh, all we can do is wait and see. Beep. And he's just like, fuck. Well, that sucks. Puts his head down, head down, starts like praying or something, whoever knows. And all of a sudden, a little flicker of Disney life, dude. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. But like, why, why put your head down? Why not like defibrillate her, uh, a shot of adrenaline, do Pulp Fiction that bitch's heart? Yeah. Right now. Try anything. You're in a hospital. It's almost Get as if you, you have medical supplies. Get you a red marker, put it on her chest, and you <laughs> jam that giant needle right into it. Treat Williams is just like, Dr. Smarmy, get my little black medical book. He's <laughs> my like, little black book. He's like, you're a doctor. You don't need that. <laughs> no, I'm trying to find another date when this bitch dies on me. You brought this OD and bitch to my hospital? That's what it's for. Prank caller, prank caller, <laughs> wrong number. No, your number's 911 treat. <laughs> Why is Eric Stoltz a doctor? <laughs> That's how he gets the young ones. But he he does. Oh, you're right. This is right now. Sorry. Okay. I just, my, I, I. Hey, I'm so I'm confused gonna, because nothing happened until say, I'm the end. I'm not holding you to knowing this movie's fucking <laughs> Because plot. I did write down a note because he gets real sad and he puts his head down. And he says, Aww. you can't leave me now. And all I thought was, take away the bad part of me. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and then she came to life. <laughs> and she came back to life. So he like, sang her back to life. Yeah, absolutely. I probably got the words that wrong, but I knew what I was no, doing. No, the healing power of music. <laughs> but yeah, he doesn't give her paddles or anything. And... He doesn't give a shit. She just comes back to life and she's like, You're cute when you're sad or some yeah, shit. You're cute I'm, when you're worried. Yeah, okay. I was like, Fuck you. Yeah. You just died. Just died <laughs> in your arms tonight. <laughs> Must have been something I got bit by. Must have been some fucking snake. <laughs> so we're reaching like the climax of the movie here. We're definitely in the third act. We're getting to the so action. We get to the, the, the big buff black eye guy. Oh, yeah. Black, black eye guy. <laughs> black eye guy. <laughs> is standing by the side of the road. They're going, the military is driving through saying, like, if you are not in your house, you will be fucking shot. It's it's nighttime already. Like, they should be shooting. Yeah. Because right? this guy is standing at the side of the road. So is everybody else. Like, watch it. They're pointing at Jeeps. Like, oh, what's this guy called? Wait, go yeah. do it here, government. Go in your house or we'll shoot you. Keeps going. Yeah, well... Didn't shoot. I'm not in my house now. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> do it, you pussy. <laughs> Oh. But he's standing out there with his kid. Is he with his wife too at yeah. this point? Well, there's a lady. I, well, because they, 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 or whatever, yeah. We don't know his backstory. Because they end up meeting, he ends up driving, like, he's like, we're going to get out of here. And then he pulls up to another car that's already waiting, and it's her again. So <laughs> She's like, also his travel agent. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They meet on the side of the road. He gives her pepper spray, and he's like, look, just go up to the exit. They're not going to be expecting anything from you. Just blast that motherfucker with pepper spray uh-huh. and we'll get out of here. Which my first thought was, they're all wearing full face gas masks. That's not going to work. This guy wasn't. Yeah. The one guy <laughs> that, that Arizona'd his mask. <laughs> the one guy blocking, like, coming in and out of this infected town. Does not Arguably have one on. of the more important people that should be wearing a mask right? is like, Sans mask. I might be infected. If somebody comes up and I'm like, uh, sir, you can't come in. Now they're infected. Yeah, we're all infected. Now we all die. <laughs> the cool. world's dead. Now 20, Dustin Hoffman doesn't have to be in this 27 weeks movie. later, because it's not as good as 28. <laughs> it's, so. definitely, <laughs> it's definitely not as good as 28 weeks later. Or days. What am I thinking of? What's the Sandra Bullock rehab one? Is that 28 20, weeks or 28 days? I think it's just called 28 Days. 28 Days, yes. Yeah. Yes. I only remember because it's got Viggo Mortensen uh, and uh, a pretty early Alan Tudyk. 
I only remember because anytime I tried to look up 28 Days Later, that would come up, and I'm like, why would I watch that? I watched <laughs> it because I had a girlfriend that loved it. That's fair. Yeah, that's about it. But also, I'm looking up 28 Days Later. I don't want to watch 28 Days. Oh, dude, Sandra Bullock in a zombie movie? All Wasn't right, she kind of? Wasn't that with a, kind of that bird box thing? The was? horde can't be over it. 50. <laughs> I didn't watch that bird box thing. That's kind I of a zombie thing, either. right? No? I don't know. How did that escape both of us? I don't know. It was something about wearing a mask over your face because if you see stuff, it kills you. Yeah, or the something. subtitle is called No Peeking. I just know about it because it was a huge thing. I think it was during COVID. So all anybody was doing was watching TV. And the only reason Tiger King did so well. <laughs> and it became a viral thing because kids on like youtube or tiktok or something were like this is called the bird box challenge and oh. putting on like fucking bandanas over their eyes and driving their cars down the street and i shit. hope somebody got killed oh they did yeah few people died good they deserved it darwinism now if they killed anybody else that's sad yeah, it's a little sad i don't know for sure but it definitely oh, some I of them that's died not and... how tree williams went out because now i'll be really sad <laughs> he's like the... guys bird box challenge no i think the person that hit him was bird boxing <laughs> Okay. Trey Williams isn't stupid enough to bird box. Well, I just figured he's 71 years old. He's white. He's behind the times. It took him a couple of years to catch up to the bird box he's challenge. He's an ice bucket challenge. He got pneumonia. <laughs> he just started TikToking, as did we. Are you kidding me? And he by just we, got I mean me. YouTubes. <laughs> by the way, guys, we have a TikTok. Go check it out. And we will have a YouTubes. We're working on it. Yeah. By the time this comes out, we'll have a YouTubes. Okay. Yeah. So th- we have a YouTubes. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, they're leaving. The cops, or the cops, whatever. The, the MPs, military police. The let's, federal let's, cops yeah. start chasing federal them. Federal cops. <laughs> they start chasing them. And this woman just drives off the road. Like, she swerves off the road because she's not used to a high-speed pursuit. Yeah, who would presumably. be? And she's just bouncing down this hill. The husband pulls over, and he gets out, and he's like, You'll be okay or some shit. He's like yelling to her. (laughs) She crashes right into this like electric junction box thing and just goes the fuck up. Also, did you You notice? You'll be okay. Did you see the dummy? No, I didn't oh. catch a dummy. Oh, man. I was so glad I looked up because I was writing down I know that she you're was on crashing. Dummy watch. I looked up. When the car hits the, the box, there's a side shot of the car smashing into it. Dummy flies through the fucking windshield and oh. smashes into the box, and then there's the explosion. You know what? That might be worth me going back like just tonight and checking out that, <laughs> that three minutes. Just put it on Love while you're it. cooking dinner. <laughs> By the time you're done, it'll be that scene. What am I cooking? Lamb stew? I don't know. It takes an hour. It takes an hour. <laughs> Just to cook something? Yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so then the this is when Cobra Commander is like, you know, all, the, the guy says, hey, they're they're surrendering because Big Buff Guy and his kid are they're like, hey, we'll go back. Yes. They've already escaped. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Sterilize them. They're trying to slither away. I mean, he says sterilization is the only option, and I'm like, they've already got a kid. Yeah. Oh, you mean late. you mean never mind. Ooh. You mean with fire. Got oh, it. you're gonna burn them. They just napalm this entire. Like it's not like they shoot a rocket at these dudes like they did to that other guy. Yeah. They napalm this entire hillside and wipe these people off the oh, face yeah. of the earth. Uh, the note is boom, by the way. <laughs> What's my note say here? Boom. Big <laughs> bad uh, boom. Big bada boom. They big bada boom for <laughs> sure, dude. <laughs> Yummy chicken. So then the the army is now going to pull out of the town uh-huh. because Cobra Commander has arrived and he's like, we're doing Directive 412 or and 712. They, they told the news that there's no survivors. Yeah. So the whole, there's been news reports this whole time, by the way. And at first it's like maybe communications are out because of... Uh, the earthquakes, we don't know, but the army's here now. We still don't know. They never really show them saying like, "Hey, it became a." We know it's a virus until this point when they're uh-huh. like, "Well, they're pulling out," but they said it was a virus. But I, I guess everybody's dead, so yeah, whatever. We're gonna stay here though, you know, downwind, and hope we don't <laughs> die. Keep rolling. Why is he a Canadian newscaster? <laughs> I'm gonna stay down here though and hope oh, we don't die. So let's just hope the wind doesn't take down, you know, this way, eh? Hey, that, that virus came over here, and I said, take off, hoser. <laughs> and it did. Um, at some point here, the, the sister has to go under her house oh to like God. fix the pipes that broke during the earthquake, which, by the way, she looks at it in the middle of the night, and it's pouring water. And, and she's says, like, that sucks for tomorrow. What the fuck are you talking about? You shut your water main off which right now. Which I guess now. she did, but they don't yeah, go into that. It pro- looks like she's just like, well, see you tomorrow. That's a problem for right now, lady. Yeah. And then when she goes down there in the morning, it's bone dry. Uh-huh. 
Because I was like, well, she's not crawling around in muck. Like, so she did turn it off. We just but even if see, she yeah. did, overnight, it's not going to dry up. It's under your house. It doesn't matter. Uh, so she fixes the pipe, and she goes inside, and she's taking a shower. And there's no nerps, but there's some feet. There, ooh, thank <laughs> you. Me and Quentin Tarantino, thank you. <laughs> and as she's showering, the toilet starts to overflow because she flushed this huge turd that she apparently left <laughs> overnight. Oh, she didn't break it up with a stick like the rest of us? <laughs> you don't have a turd stick? Just shit right next to your turdlet? <laughs> and the toilet's overflowing and a snake comes out of the toilet. Uh-huh. And I was just like, what? So <laughs> Her this house is, is already full of snakes. What's yeah. this one doing? <laughs> this is what I thought of too. Like, first of all, ridiculous. Like, there's another way to introduce snakes into your environment. Well, but this also, is your uh, arachnophobia. But also, okay. So when I said that, I also <laughs> wanted it to be. You rattlesnakes are the worst type of sneaky snakes. Like they are the least sneaky of the snakes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So if I'm making this movie, aside I'm, from Cobra Commander, <laughs> <laughs> get them. <laughs> oh, there he is over there. <laughs> But I wanted it to be, before I watched it, obviously, because now I know what it is, I wanted it to be more like, what's those ones from Africa? Asps. Uh, we've got cobras. We've got all kinds yeah. of non Noise making venomous <laughs> snakes that could slither and sneak into your Didn't house. Did you know co- cobras make that noise that goes, <laughs> dude? You try to find a cobra and not find that noise. <laughs> I put it to you, sir. I've seen Aladdin. That's not racist, right? <laughs> I saw a lot of Love Guru. Sorry oh to say. Why? I don't know. It was on it. Mike Myers. I didn't know any better. You should have by then. Now I do. <laughs> it's like when, was it you telling me about that Pentaveret movie? Oh, yeah. Okay. I can remember if it was you or Patrick. I saw uh, that on- Series. Uh, is it a series? Series. That's even worse. I saw it on I Netflix. I watched, I was like, what's this? Clicked to it, and it started with Mike Myers and some makeup saying like three words, and I was like, yeah. I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna explain myself a little bit. <laughs> the Pentaveret is something that the father, who's also played by Mike Myers, in So I Made, Married an Axe Murderer, starts talking about. He's like, it's an Illuminati, Illuminati, it's a Pentaveret, though, and he starts naming people. The Cardinal with his wee beady eyes. And because <laughs> of that, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to see what this is about. After the first episode, I can't defend myself. So he I spun finished off it. his own joke that was a like a throwaway joke. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I like I said, I shouldn't. Be, I I can't defend myself after the first episode. <laughs> I watched the first one. Was like, God, I don't think it's gonna get any better. But I'm a completionist. I mean, Click. It, his career just became like making jokes about his own jokes. Yeah. Because uh, what what was um oh Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, he's he's in Bohemian Rhapsody as like a record executive or something, and it's a Wayne's World and, and reference. And they, I've never they, seen it. They do the the Bohemian Rhapsody like they play it for him, and he's like, "Well, I can't see anybody in their car banging their head to this song." Oh, come on, audiences uproared. I, I'm ashamed to admit, not that I saw the movie. I like Robbie Malik. I like Queen, so I yeah. saw the movie. It was whatever. I'm ashamed to admit I laughed. Yeah, but you know, you're in the moment. You leave you the theater, for it's kind of like like if you're out at a bar and you're drinking too much and you hook up with someone you know you shouldn't, and later on you feel dirty. That was me leaving that theater going, mm-hmm. why did I laugh and at that joke? And then two years later, you kick him out of your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just me? <laughs> you and the kid need to go. <laughs> she was super abusive. I had about 14 months of that, and I said, no more. <laughs> <laughs> so General, I think, the good General, goodish. I think better. I think this is when he's telling Cobra Commander, like we don't need to. Oh, because we have a tied up fl- Doctor Hot. Yeah, that, I think Williams that comes already. and finds him. Yeah. yeah, but before Treat Williams comes, and he's like, we have enough uh, anti venom to inoculate the whole town or whatever. Like we don't need to level it. And this is when Cobra Commander is like, yes, we do. Kill them all. I've already made up my mind. <laughs> I've been waiting to say 712 for years. <laughs> oh, n- now he says the name of the virus. Yes, this is when he says it's the Satan bug. The Satan bug. And I mean, basically, this is when we discover that he was the one in charge of the project. And Ten he says all ago. the stuff we already said. Ten years ago, Desert Storm, secret, super secret spy snakes. Super <laughs> secret spy snakes. Thanks. You would think Cobra Commander would choose less words with yeah. S's. No, he does it on purpose. He's <laughs> like, do you have any idea how cool I s- s- sound? <laughs> um, <laughs> so he's like, just let him use the vaccine. We'll, we know where the snakes are. We'll go fucking torch the den. Call it a day. We don't need any more death. And he's like, we need one more death. Yeah. Pew. 
Pew. Uh, somewhere. Oh, when the snake came out of the toilet, by the way, it bit the sister. I don't know if it really matters. She goes to the hospital, but it I feel like it doesn't Dr. really come Hot anything. Worry more. Yeah. And I think they were trying to set up a romance between her and Doctor Swarmy. Yeah, because he's all worried about. I mean, her. he didn't care if she lived or died. He was hooking up. Yeah. One way or another, he's copping a feel. I'm doing it warm or cold. It could be a first date or it could be CPR. <laughs> up to you, lady. Um, Either way, <laughs> warm or cold, I'm coming with you. <laughs> Gross. That's with a U, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And so the generals leave. Treat Williams does come in. They tie him up. Uh, the Cobra commander shoots the good general. Yeah. Oh, man check is done. Yeah, he's like, there doesn't need to be any more deaths. Well, maybe one more. Kapow. Kapow. <laughs> I mean, it's a fun villain line. Yeah, it's good. And he leaves to get on his helicopter and escape town. <laughs> we'll get to what happens there. Yeah, well, let's let's hurry to it. <laughs> Treat Williams and Dr. Hot are still in the tent. And these snakes suddenly are filling this tent. Yeah. For some reason. Uh, plot scent. Yes, okay. And there's also... It doesn't come to anything. You I thought had run tent- by and sprayed pheromones. You get it. <laughs> I thought this tent was going to go up because behind them, while they're tied up, there's just this enormous canister that's labeled flammable. Sure, and it's it's labeled in such a way that you're like, yeah, okay, I see yeah. what's happening. This tent's here. going up. Yeah, it doesn't. We're gonna get it. They they ran out of uh, explosion money. <laughs> yeah, they, they used were like, it we all. can have it on this upcoming explosion. Or now, and I'm glad they saved it. Look, we can have two helicopters blow up in the sky, or one. It's up to Let's you. go for two. <laughs> um, Director's like, what's cooler, a tent or a helicopter exploding, <laughs> buddy? So Treat Williams gets out of the chair. He's like, don't worry, I'll get us. I have an idea. And he, he crawls over. He, they're tied up. He crawls over to the uh, General Dexter guy, and he re- starts reaching in his pocket. And I'm like, oh, okay, he's assuming this guy has a knife. He's always jacking like, him off. It's a shirt pocket. He's just rubbing his nipples. He He's reaches himself off over the nipples. Sorry. <laughs> he reaches in and pulls out a Zippo. I'm like, this guy has not smoked in this movie. Ooh, no, not true. Oh, really? He's had a cigar. Okay. All right. Thank just you. I once. missed it. But at least that's um, like kind of establishing that he so would have a lighter. One, a a no name soldier came up and handed him a report of something happening. I it honestly doesn't matter, which is why I'm blanking on it. Oh, it's when he was in the office. You're right. But I remember. No, no, no. This is outside no? at night in old tent city. Okay. Because the only the only reason I remember it is because I th- like he blew a hit at this guy's face. I'm like, <laughs> fuck you, dude. Who are you, Richie April working evidence locker? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry. The smoke kills the virus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he pulls the Zippo out of his pocket and he starts trying to burn these ropes that are on his arm, which I'm like, bad idea, but you got to get out, right? It's 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 not as bad as dying. But he's like holding, they show the flame on these ropes and it's barely like giving like a black singe to him. And four seconds later, he's out. Hey, spoiler alert. If you're trying to burn rope off yourself, you're going to get burnt too. Like you have to. He is laying there. He's like, oh, 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 that's hot. Oh, ow. And then he just like breaks out. And I'm like, that's not how fire works. I love you, Treat Williams. (laughs) Fire hurts a little more than that. I love you, Treat Williams. And he gets himself out and he gets Dr. Hot out and they get out of the tent. (laughs) <laughs> and the the chopper is flying away, and this general, sorry, Cobra commander, is talking to this chopper pilot, pontificating. Yeah, and he's just like, I sure wish I could go instead of all those people. If, if there I was could any die way, I would, because he's trying to cover lives. himself. Yeah, yeah, he's just like, if I, I don't want to do this, yeah, you fucking do. And this pilot is just laughing, like, yeah, okay, sure, Cobra sure. commander. <laughs> if I could trade with these people, I would. Destro. <laughs> and suddenly. This helicopter is full of snakes. He is tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking <laughs> helicopter, apparently. Dude, there are at least three or four snakes on this helicopter. By the way, and I have to point this out because it has to do with right now. When the helicopter takes off, there's clearly a stuntman in there, not Cobra Commander. Yeah. So when the helicopter's taking off from a distance, the guy is the stuntman is looking away, as you would. The helicopter goes up and does the 180 and starts to fly away. Uh-huh. The, heli- the stuntman is looking the other way now. <laughs> He's very, very present, very aware of where the camera is. Somebody was. <laughs> Don't look at me. So now we got these snakes, though. You, with your boots, like you said, you wear boots. You could easily just like flip these, like f- shuffle these things. Yeah, off kick the it off the plane. Or Not the doing what he's doing. Not doing what he's doing, no. which is panicking and just like hot stepping and pulling Wildly the gun. firing his pistol. In the, but the reason I point out the stuntman is because for the, the shot from the distance, the wide shot. This is the one. This had me laughing so hard. This Go. guy is just, I'm pretty sure he's holding a rope 
or like a pool noodle, but it's like from a distance, this guy just shaking this fucking snake around. Dude, it's a silhouette <laughs> of a of Cobra Commander shaking snakes. <laughs> it's so much. This is where I was watching by myself, laughing out loud, hoping that my roommate didn't come in and think I was a maniac. <laughs> and he's firing the gun wildly at these snakes and surprise, Shoots the pilot who's directly in front of him. But also surprise. Uh, shoots the helicopter control panel. Even more surprise. Which somehow makes the helicopter explode. Instead of just go down like ceremoniously. <laughs> this is just like instant blow up. Look, we just watched all those Rambo movies not too long ago. They can take bullets. Those helicopters do not explode that easily. No. I mean, again, it's a movie. I don't know. Maybe they you do. Can get, you can get shot and have time for helicopter pranks. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> but one pistol round into the front of this helicopter equals explosion. And this helicopter goes up and it's it's not a like a, a it's a real explosion. It, uh-huh. Sometimes in these kind of things, you'll see like where they record an explosion and they composite it in where it's like not really in the sky. No, this helicopter goes up because you see the chassis crash to the ground. I actually kind of wondered how they did this. Did they have an already burnt up chassis off screen above above camera, light it and drop it into frame? I would think probably like it maybe on a good. crane or something. But For like, what this movie fucking is, it looked good. Yeah, these explosions are really good. Yeah. For what I assume is literally no budget. I mean, it's obviously the budget, with a right? made-for-TV movie, there's no, there's not a lot of information out there about budget or uh-huh. obviously no box office. Or I wish there was because we could look at how much went into fucking demo. Yeah, I tried searching for budget and I couldn't find anything. Yeah. But um, yeah, the chopper blows up. That's kind of the end of that because so there is a um, stealth bomber coming to the town. True. That has been sent to napalm this Again, town. Again, back to my military budget. Like, you got a shot of this well, plane taking off. That's definitely B-roll. Like, sure. that's bot footage, because that looks totally different than the rest of the movie. Okay. It I looks like it's it's footage, it like, kind of like when you do you shoot in New York or L.A. or like big cities, you buy footage so you don't have to rent a helicopter and do your own. So you're saying that you buy a B-roll footage of Washington, D.C., yeah. and then you Photoshop in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> yes, first kid. It's exactly what you do, because there's no footage of Previous the White House already. First kid. <laughs> yeah, you, there's no way to get a shot of the White House. <laughs> it's impossible. But like, so it's it's clearly B roll of a stealth bomber. Yeah. Because it, it looks grainy. It looks older. It looks like it's shot on like sixteen millimeter film versus so what this do- is. But Doctor Hot runs to the uh, uh, reporters and is like, "Hey, there's people alive." Yeah. Like, they're all they all see a car up. and they're like, "Holy!" Sh-. One of the reporters even says, "They told us everybody was dead. There's a person." That's like, just in. <laughs> they're driving down the road. We hear you, Steve. We're looking at the same thing you are. But I'm just saying. Are you rolling on this? <laughs> clearly, Steve. I know yeah. my fucking job. I'm a cameraman. <laughs> Are you rolling on this? Shut up. Are you reporting on this? It's like fucking Gale Weathers. Are you rolling on this? Yes, I'm your cameraman, I haven't Gale. stopped rolling, Gale. Shut the fuck. You were just talking to me 11 seconds ago. I didn't hit stop when the action started. <laughs> At this point, I thought, you know what? I, I feel like it, we, we forgot something. Was it uh, Chekhov's gun, mayhaps? Yeah, Treat Williams. And you go talk to the media. I have my own idea. What the fuck is his idea? He goes and gets this fucking flare gun fires off a flare i guess to let the bomber know there's people in the town this flare by the way i'm like you guys can blow up helicopters you can blow up cars you can't shoot a flare digital flare do you know that i actually own flares like that i can shoot off guess what they don't look like comets going up they look nothing like what they showed us (laughs) this is ridiculous you're like as a civilian i can get flare technology you can't fire flare off into the fucking sky (laughs) and this this bomber pilot is looking at his like heat sensor stuff looking at his targeting computer not listening to obi-wan who says just use the force (laughs) he puts away his targeting (laughs) shit just nukes the town and i was using the force man so I'm like, he's not going to see your flare, dude. He's looking at his targeting equipment at this point. And also, he's not low enough to see a flare. He is in this movie. But I guess this... In idea, reality, he'd be much higher. I think the idea is, though, that this flare shows up on his thermals and kind of well, fucks like, up targeting. Maybe, because when he's looking at the town, though, it shows like hot spots in the town, which he doesn't question. No. Which are humans. Not at all. But then, yeah, he does see the flare, and he's like, what? What the fuck? And then immediately, it's like... Uh, cancel the bombing, pull out, whatever. And he like flips his switches off and flies away. They save the town. Whee! The media starts cheering as if they're Whee! invested in this story. Yeah. They're like, you did it. They're like, they, Dude, you just found out 11 seconds ago. What did one they person do? Was we alive. don't know. <laughs> um, 
the army, they, there's a quick shot of the army gathering snakes out of this tunnel. Yeah. And like, we Not need, careful. We need at least 10 of these to make enough anti-venom for everybody. And one of the guys says, make sure you're careful. These ain't like regular snakes. And they're not careful. No. They don't have snake boots on. No. I there mean, is a snake in their boots. They have boots, but... <laughs> There's a snake in my boots. <laughs> Uh-oh. Kill him. <laughs> and that's why Woody's gone. <laughs> Somebody poisoned his water hole. <laughs> Um, Christine and Treat make up. Doctor Hot and Treat, sorry, uh-huh. make uh-huh. up at the hotel or at the hotel. Doctor Hot. I treat. mean, it's a really expensive hotel. It's a hospital. <laughs> they make up at it's the, the hospital. It's the most expensive hotel. <laughs> uh, there's a cool shot of them blowing up the the snake den. Uh huh. They're like, oh, hey, we giant, know, we know, big button. And I love the news report that's going over, like uh, the voiceover that's happening, and it's like. Every snake, we know that they're all in this location. Every snake that was part of this has been is going to be destroyed during this this bombing or this explosion. Like, first of all, how would you know? There's because no snakes can way move. To know. They bred. Yeah. That's what you've said. Yeah. They could have bred, and one snake slithered away miles away. I mean, we but, already know of one that's hiding in some timber in a prepper's house. Exactly. Well, it's one. I guess presumably they didn't show it, but they went through town just fucking taking out snakes. Like the dudes at the end of Night of the Living Dead that are just yeah. shooting zombies and throwing them into a pile. And somebody did say, oh, it was, it was uh, Manchek. He's like, let's give the vaccine and put some flamethrowers to the fucking den. Yeah. We know where they are. So they blow up the den, and then not that surprisingly, there's an ominous music, and we go into the den, and we start going down through the rocks. Back to our star of the movie, the dirt, though. And... <gasps> There's one snake oh. left, and he sn- hisses at the screen, cut to black. And he says, I'll get you next time, Joe. I'll get you next time, Gadget Tweet. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I laughed. I'm like, the fucking gall that you have <laughs> to think, you know what we need to set up? Venomisis. The Ven- second Venomous Venomisis is the second name. Venomous two, Venom harder. <laughs> Venomer than you are. <laughs> Venomer than you are, dude. Uh, and it's over, man. And it's you know over. What? There's it no made stinger. Me very sad at how sober I was. <laughs> <laughs> I know. When I watch the movie right before we record, I try not to drink while watching because I'm going to drink while we're recording. I try not to. I don't want to get all Fantastic Four on everybody Ooh, again. So see previous episodes <laughs> if you can find it. <laughs> it's still out there. Yeah. Um, but that's that. I don't know. What do you think? Recommendation? So I will recommend it on a, a, a very specific thing. I, I Like I said, I watched it alone. I watched it sober. And I watched it sun up. Those are three things that would change about it. I would watch <laughs> it with somebody else, anybody else to make fun of it with me. Like Mystery Science, it, that, that shit. Um, I would have watched it at nighttime. And I would have watched it not sober. Because here's the, uh, the one of the crux is it's PG-13. Yeah. There's no blood. No. There's no boobs. There's no real, real violence. The good thing is in America, PG-13 means you can murder as many people as right. you want as long as there's you no blood. Show blood. But and a point that you we've, we've gone back to many times, great explosions when they happen. So, yeah. yeah, I will recommend it as a soft recommend, caveats being with, be with somebody and drink some, drink some hooch. Yeah, I, I've been going back and forth since I finished it. Like, I don't know. I'm going to go with, yeah, same thing as you. Very soft. Like, put it on while you're hanging out with friends or something, because it's funny to watch in the background. This is one we probably should have watched as a group. Yeah. Honestly, this would have made it a lot better. Well, it's nice because it's like, you turn it on, you have some friends over drinking. You turn yeah. it on, you're all catching up, you're talking, you're drinking, you haven't gotten drunk yet. The movie's playing, nothing's happening, no one gives a shit. By the time you start to catch a little buzz, things start to blow up. Yep. Good times. It's not like Roadhouse where someone's going to shush you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joking. watching this. No one's, I, if, if I was put this on and somebody was like, excuse me, I'm watching this movie. Shut up. I'd be Shh. like, you need to leave. I'm trying to figure out what's happening with Dr. Hot right now. <laughs> Why is this Cobra Commander guy yelling at Treat Williams? <laughs> I would say, shh, the, the helicopter scene's on. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, quiet. I want to hear the explosion. Hold on. Look at the dummy work. <laughs> yeah, that's great dummy um, work. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, a very soft. Uh, I don't know. It's it's bordering on a meh. Yeah, it's, it, you know what? It's right there at meh. Yeah. Yep. But I did have more fun than I thought. I'm watching this movie. I'm bored out of my mind. And then I'm not. Yeah, third act so, is kind of banging. Yeah. Yeah. 97 minutes. Could have been 90. In and out. But, you know. Yeah, I'll go with that. So we will continue doing... Treat Williams, Williams all through the month. 
Surprise to me if any of these are actually horror. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> if this is one that's labeled horror, we're in for a real treat. <laughs> there is one called Deep Rising, which is like a... Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. No, no, no. A, a, the sex version. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, like at sea like monster thing. And it looks like a cross between. I've only watched the trailer. It looks like a cross between horror and like action thriller. Okay. There's definitely a poster where it's like a scary face and like a boat and stuff. Yeah. And then there's another poster where it's Treat Williams jumping a jet ski out of a boat with an explosion behind it. Oh my god. So who knows? Yeah, I do. I know. I want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> we have another one called Night of the Sharks, which will be featuring uh, our first ever remote guest from Bucket of Chum podcast. Looking forward to it. And we will have Dead chummy. Heat with Joe Piscopo and Treat Williams, <laughs> which is also definitely not horror, but it involves zombies, so it counts. It's, jo- it's got Joe Piscopo, so I'm scared. <laughs> and then we'll be doing one of the substitutes. I'm pretty sure we're doing Substitute 3. 3 sounds about right. Dude, with our research combined. Substitute 3, what's the subtitle? Failure? No, Failure's Not an Option is the fourth. I don't know. It doesn't matter. He stabs someone in the throat in the first like two minutes of the movie, Ooh. so I'm in. Ooh. That'll be the rest of this month. It's going to be fun. And then we'll continue from there, hopefully, unless we get thrown in jail for some reason. Unless this oh. world ends. I mean, that's fair. In that case, but then no one will problems. know. Yeah. No one will know yeah, that you we know didn't. What? Let's so. tell some lies then. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to win awards. We'll guys. give a million dollars to everybody. <laughs> so. <laughs> so don't forget to check out Evasion. They provide our opening and closing music. Follow us on all of our social medias. Again, we are now available on TikTok. I post little cool videos and like trailers and stuff on there. I don't really understand TikTok, but I figured out how to do that. <laughs> I'm old, man. I get it. I'm older. Than I you. don't know how to ticks or talks. Um, <laughs> I know how to talk. So that's what I'm doing here. But uh, all that Some stuff. Days. <laughs> See, I, don't know. I didn't say well. I can talk. I can't talk well. <laughs> But yeah, badmoviesworstpeople.com. Send us an email, badmoviesworstpeople at gmail.com. Buy Request some a shirts, movie. Man, I got a couple. They're fucking great. I've got some really cool new designs up from some friends of the show. I like Sasha. The one, yeah, I like the one Cha Cha drew. Yeah, uh, her her mom, Ronnie, did one. Yeah. That's really nice. Uh, we'll have some new stickers available soon with the same artwork. Uh, so check that stuff out. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Next time. Gadget. You've been. Oh, yeah. Who have I been? You've been Derek. I've been Derek. I'm a snake. A sneaky, sneaky snake. Now we'll see you next time, you son of a bitch. Good night and go slither yourself. <laughs> <laughs>